Buongiorno everyone, welcome to the Mike by Channel TV, the first, probably the last watch along of Euro 2020, we shall see, obviously England already through to the next round without having to play tonight, uh, thanks to Monday night's results, so we'll see how we get on, we'll see how Keg gets on, he's, uh, he's getting changed in the background there, he's going to come in soon, we'll be here for the full game to bring you Czech Republic versus England to decide where England play in the next round, will we get the air? Uh, Top of the table, clash, stinky one, France, Germany, Portugal, someone from the group of death. Or will uh, Tactics be there for South Cage to go for another draw and try and get Spain, Sweden? One of those teams would obviously be the better shout for us. Uh, we'll wait and see. We're just nine minutes away from kickoff. Get your comments in, how you're feeling heading into the game. Bit of a downer compared to when... You know, a big hype above the Croatia game, the opening game, and then let down a little bit, more than a little bit, against Scotland on Friday. So now, a chance for England to go out, attack and show what we can do at home. The last group stage game at Wembley, how will we get on? Jake is saying 1-1. One, one. I'm also on a 1-1 one, one vibe. I've got 1-1 one, one and 2-1 on. I think it'll be a close one. I'm hoping I'm wrong. I'm hoping we'll absolutely pump them. Bonjour, okay. Bonjour, how are we doing? Not bad, me. Apart from having an absolute nightmare with TV breaking, so I have to go split screen. Oh, I don't and then, miss setting up these watch alongs, like you know. Uh, fucking nightmare. <laughs> Just coming from work, turn my TV on after moving house, and it's all fucking cracky and gone. So that's game off that TV. There's another one after buy. <laughs> Wicked. So I've just yeah, got the yeah. split screen on, so I can only see us tiny in the top corner. Yeah, so I hope everything looks all right. Yeah, You'd have to be good. the judge of that. We're good. We're good. Lewis is going 3 0. A big 3 0 there for Lewis. Let's hope he's right. If Kane doesn't get a shot on this game, get rid get rid of him for the rest of the tournament. Mm. I've had enough. Shouldn't even be. You know, the problem is with if you drop Kane, there's no one else, is there really? You've got Scout Sandy Carroll, right. right. Calvert Lewin, or you've got Marcus mm. Rashford, who's more of a winger. So with Greenwood getting injured beforehand, with like so Wilson not getting picked, Kane's always going to start, isn't he? Even if he does look absolutely knackered, sluggish, like he's on all day. Yeah, uh, he's irreplaceable. Like he's the captain. Like we know, being Jamal Lascelles captains, like <laughs> fans of Newcastle. Like you know, John Joe Shelby at the at the end of the season. As long as yeah, you've got man. a captain's arm, as long as you've got a captain's arm band, you're in that starting eleven. No questions asked. But he is irreplaceable in the sense that he's just won the Golden Boot. <laughs> he's also just been the won the award for most assists in the season. He won the Golden Boot in the last major tournament, the 2018 World Cup. Like you say, like who else do we can we really rely on? Like he is a world class strike guy. He's just in a little bit of a rut, but he hasn't really had many chances. I think people have been a little bit harsh on him. Like where's where's the opportunities come from? Like we've got loads of attack, like Foden, Grealish, Mount. Like the wingers are good. You got Sterling. Like even Sancho kind of get a game. Like we've got attacking options, but we're just not playing good football as a team, which is typical of England. Uh, he's just not really getting much of a sniff, to be fair. I think he's only probably had one shot this whole tournament. So give him some more assists. Like, unfortunately, we can't have Kay Sung Young. A little bit of Kay Sung Young, then. Uh... One second, mate. Nah, anyway, isn't it? I'll have a look what's going on. Yeah. Bongiorno Finley, good to see you. Would you rather have Southgate or Sven? Oh, that's an awful, awful, awful question. Right now, I'm not a fan of Southgate. Don't really like the way things are going. So I'd honestly rather say Sven. We don't know. Okay, when was he in charge? Two thousand two World Cup, I think it was. Got to the quarter final. Got put out by Brazil. Honestly, Southgate's not turning me on in this tournament. He did in 2018, 2020, 2021, whatever it is. Not, nah, not a fan at the minute. I think if we don't win this game, regardless of what happens going forward, he needs gone. He's not good enough. Everyone was just sucking him off after the 2018 World Cup, but we, we got lucky. We got lucky with with the draws. Colombia, Sweden, and Croatia in the knockout stages. It was a was it Costa Rica or Panama, someone like that in the in the group stage. It just wasn't good enough. Like so, nah, I, I wouldn't really want to say Sven back. The bloke must be about ninety years old. Like, but yeah, anybody other than Gareth or Steve Bruce. Three two says Pete. Uh, I'd quite like to say that because it it's goals. It'll be an end-to-end -end game. It should be entertaining. We need that because I think 
we're through now. I think that's why we're, there's, there's so many changes. Like Saka, you've, we've got the team going along the bottom of the screen there. I thought Saka was an injury doubt, to be fair. I didn't expect them to even be available in the squad today, but Saka gets a start. Grealish has finally brought in. Maguire has come back for some minutes. I think we're going to take it easy. So if there's five goals in it, I'd absolutely love to see five goals. But I don't know. I just think we're going to be typical England, be very, very conservative, try not to get anybody sent off, uh, suspended or injured. I think that's maybe why Foden isn't in, because I've seen before the game that uh, Foden with another yellow card would be suspended in the next game. So I think that's maybe why. I think I'm pretty sure... Uh, I'm pretty sure yellow cards get wiped off after the group stage. So obviously, if he gets a yellow card, he would be suspended. But I think that's why he's just not even in the squad. Isn't even on the bench today, Phil Foden, for that reason. Don't want to get him sent uh, another yellow card because he would be suspended for the round of sixteen. So uh, I just want to see what attack. I say, just want to see what go for an entertaining game. But I'm just not expecting it to be honest. Aaron saying two 0 England. I hope you're right. Another clean sheet. I think that's another good thing to play for. Like so far, we haven't got to see a goal in the tournament. A one nil win and a nil nil draw. As long as we get a win, keep a clean sheet. The defense has been good. Before the tournament, when me and Renty done our prediction videos, neither of we were really big fans of Harry Kane. Eh, not Harry Kane, eh, Harry Maguire, sorry. But I think I felt like we needed him. Like with him going into the tournament as an injury doubt, it just looked really, really bad for us. Like Harry Maguire. And John Stones, John Stones had a really, really good season, but this time last year, you wouldn't have even expected him to be anywhere near the squad. He was on his way out of Man City. He's just turned his career around in the last 12 months. So if, I don't know, like last year, if we thought Stones and Maguire would be our centre-backs, it would be lifting. But even without Maguire, Tyrone Mings, Tyrone Mings got put on toast by Joe Linton against Newcastle a few months ago. So going into the tournament thinking John Stones and Tyrone Mings as the centre-backs really... Is that good enough? That's it's awful on paper, but to be fair, Tyrone Mings has been absolutely class. I think him and John Stones have been really good. Helped to keep these clean sheets, got the four points on the board. Hopefully, get another three today and say it through. Should be top of the group by the end of the day. But uh, I another clean sheet on the board that would do me nicely. Grealish hopefully will prove to Southgate today. Absolutely, he, he should be there. And it's pissing us off that um, Jaden Sancho isn't in the day. Like, Saka's been given his chance. I like Saka, don't get us wrong, but what's Sancho going to do to get a minute? Literally hasn't had a single minute in this tournament so far. Like, I'm buzzing for Grealish. Grealish deserves his chance. Like, him and Southgate's always had a little bit of a spat, isn't it? Like, it was about a year ago, I think, in qualifying. Southgate was all about Mason Mount when he wasn't really doing that good for Chelsea, but obviously finished the season, had, had a really, really good season, but finished the season really strongly with Chelsea. Uh, Grealish has just always been on, on the back burner with England for some reason. And everybody's been calling for it. Everybody I've been talking to over the last couple of weeks. Grealish is the main man. Not Foden, not Mount, not Sancho, not Kane. Grealish. So why is this his first start? You could see he was trying to change the game against um, Scotland the other day. He made a little bit of an impact against Croatia. Just it's a little bit too late. Just couldn't really get going. So, yeah, Grealish has got a lot to prove today. Hopefully, prove Southgate wrong. Uh, why play two defensive midfielders against Czech Republic? Why play two defensive midfielders against Scotland? Why play two defensive midfielders against Croatia? No idea what's going on here. It's, that's really annoying us. I know uh, Calvin Phillips has played a little bit more forward, I think. It's it's like like Rice is the main DM and with uh, Phillips pushing a little bit forward, but I agree with you. We don't need to do that. Like Who else have we got? Like, like I say, we've got Sancho. Put Sancho on. Drop a DM. Go a little bit more attacking. Let's see who else is on the bench, just in case I forget. We've got uh, Jordan Henderson, of course. Let me have a little look here. Oh, it's on the screen there anyway. Oh, no, that's a start 11. Lineups. Bench. Rashford. Calvert-Lewin. Jude Bellingham. We've got all these attacking options, and we're playing two defensive midfielders. That's not really good enough for me, but... Yeah, seeing the teams on the screen there now, running across the bottom of the screen, I'll have a little run through with that. Jordan Pickford, of course, keeps his place. Like nobody here is a fan of Jordan Pickford. Let's place it because he's, let's face it, he's a small armed Mackham dinosaur. Nobody likes him. But for England, he's never really let me down, to be honest. I can't really, for Evan, he's dodgy as fuck. Honestly, I think he's so overrated at club level. 
But for England, he, I can't really say he's ever let with down before. I think he's I think he's a good goalkeeper for England. He made a couple of really good saves against Scotland the other day. So obviously Pickford keeps his place. A change it right back from the other game. I need to knock the notifications off. There we are. Uh, yeah, for the Scotland game, uh, Reese James starting. I'm a big fan of Reese James. I think I've got a good group of right backs, to be fair. I know we'll probably took one too many if you include uh, Alexander Arnold as well. Game is underway here. Yeah, including Alexander Arnold, we've got Kieran Trippier, uh, Reese James, and Kyle Walker, all really, really good right backs. It's it's a toss up really for me. Like they're all good. Walker was good against Croatia. James didn't really get going much against uh, Scotland. And Kieran Trippier just shouldn't be playing left back. That really annoys us that we started a left back ahead of both Chilwell and Luke Shaw when they've both had the careers of their life. So yeah, that was a little bit annoying. But yeah, I think Walker deserves being called back up. Uh, Stones keeps his place alongside Harry Maguire, who just needs a few more minutes. Well, I expected to say Jordan Henderson later on in this game as well, because they've both been up with injuries. And I think Gareth Southgate wants to see them get some minutes before we go into the knockout stages. So that's why Maguire's being brought back in. Luke Shaw, I think, was great the other day. That's why he keeps his place. Declan Rice and Calvin Phillips, as we touched on before. I, I would like to say one of them dropped for a more attacking player. Not really bothered which one. Preferably Rice. I do like Calvin Phillips. But, uh, Grealish, he's the main talking point. He finally gets his start, so all eyes will be on Jack Grealish today. Harry Kane and Raheem Sterling, both disappointing. Sterling especially. We can talk about Kane not getting goals and should he be dropped. I mean, right, he touched on it before. Not for me. Like He's the captain, the main man, the golden boot winner. Irreplaceable. Not really a striker on his level on the bench either. So that's why Kane keeps his place. But uh, Sterling the other day, mamma mia, he was Awful. And what pissed us off more is when Kane came off. Sterling got the captain's armband. What the fuck was that about? Like, why was he? Why did he get the captain's armband? He was the worst player on the field. Wound me up that like. Oh, we're in here. That's Sterling. Oh, we the post. You're well ahead of us. <laughs> well, I'm, a... I'm on the halfway in at one minute forty. Yeah, I can't be honest with this. Like, oh, no, Sterling. Uh, it's just about 10 seconds ahead, I think. It's a good ball forward. I think it was Luke Shaw, was it? Still and loves the keeper. Hits the post. Keeper didn't come for it there, like. Good effort, Still. And I was just slagging you off, but that was a good effort. <laughs> Hope we prove more of an attacking force tonight against Czech Republic. I uh, hope Phil Foden plays the full 90 minutes. Phil Foden's not going to play a single minute, Mark. He's not even in the starting 11 or on the bench, so that is unlikely. Southgate... Uh... Resting him because he's on a yellow card, he says. Yeah, uh, that's what I was touching on before, right? Uh, so uh, I think it's like if a yellow card, like a suspension, would count in the knockout stages, but I'm pretty sure yellow cards are, are wiped off the slate. Is that right? I think that was the crack at the World Cup or the Champions League or, or some group format. I remember that. When like, you hit the quarterfinal what? stage, is it? All right. That's why Ford is not playing the night because the yellows last until the quarterfinals. Yeah, it's right. So uh, it's it's good tactics, like, but definitely still would have liked to have seen him. Like, he's he's a good player. He's who who will want. Like, I'd love to have seen Foden and Grealish in the middle with without Mason Mount, and drop one of them DMs as I was talking about before, either Rice or Phillips. I don't know why we can't make it wait against Croatia because we got outrun the midfield by Croatia in the World Cup. So we played two midfielders to combat that. It worked well. We definitely mm. need them against Scotland, and we definitely need them tonight. We're through. The pressure's off. Give some of that players a chance. I'd like to have seen Bellingham come in there. I'd like to have seen Sancho come in. You know, why are we playing these fucking two defensive midfielders against Czech Republic when we're already through? Uh, it's annoying that, like, you know. Okay, just doing up. Bruce, he's still trying to play for 0-0s, 1-0s nils, nils and that. <laughs> <laughs> Ridiculous, man, isn't it? He's Jack Grealish start, so that's one bonus. Yeah, that is the talking point in us. Obviously, everybody wants Jack Grealish to start. And he's literally only starting because Mount's got got isolated. So yeah. if he wasn't, he'd still be in there. <clears throat> I'm having a bit of bother on the old streamy. You are, I mean. Uh, I am. Uh, I have, I have, my, my telly's just broke, everyone, so I'm using ITV Hub. So that's, so I think I'm a little bit behind as well. <sighs> Fucking me, I'm sick. <laughs> this is why no, I said no, no. Mine, we'll put it on because my TV in the living room is working, but I can't move everything now at this stage. So no, no, no. Mine, watch it on fucking terrestrial television. 
No, I'm going to need to get mine up on the side now. What's it doing this for, man? Fucking hate technology. Oh, I'm about Kane, Kane doing up Shelby. Look at Kane, the centre back there, spraying bars about. What's he doing what back there, man? Whoa. Not too good. I went, I went full in there, like this. Oh, Heineken nice. Thing, honey bottles. Heineken thing. Lovely. 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 It is green, but obviously the green screen's ruining it. <laughs> uh, but I think that's been another problem with Kane as well. Like, obviously not getting chances, not scoring goals, everyone's st giving him stick for. But he's kind of changed his role this year at Tottenham, isn't he? He's been playing more of a number 10. He's been playing a little bit more like in the middle of the park, spraying balls to Hyung Min Son. As I said before, he's he's got the most assists last season, assists and most goals. But that's, that's why he's linking up with Hyung Min Son and he's playing a bit of a deeper role. I think he's a little bit more used to that now. Like he's 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 not old, but he's getting older. And I think his style's adapting a little bit, like what Wayne Rooney did as he like moved on in his career. So I uh, like just being by himself without the likes of Sancho, without Grealish starting. I just feel like he's just a little bit isolated, and he's he's trying to come back and play a little bit more like he does at Tottenham. So he's just not in the right positions to get them goals at the minute. No. He's not getting much service, like, but he's not helping himself by coming that deep. Do you know what I mean? But exactly, yeah, but uh, that's what he's, he's used to now. Like, I don't know, we're just not playing to his game at the minute. Right, so what's going on here? Six minutes in. Not much really happened yet other than uh, still in at the post. Good tackle by Race. But now the check's come forward. Looking for a long ball down the lane, finds him. He's free in the middle now. Oh, mocked up nicely. Harry Maguire back. Aye. Good to see, I suppose. Like we did say before the tournament, he was one of our main players. Aye. Better defenders, anyway. Not really spoiled for Joyce back there, are we? Aye, <laughs> we're not, no. Now, what's Sancho got a date to get a game? Sancho must be shagging Southgate's daughter or something like. No, no. What's going on here? Yeah, you know, he's the. There's only still two more. Be shagging Southgate. There's, <laughs> there's only two more players in the entire Euro 2020 that have created more chances and scored more goals across the last three seasons than Jaden Sancho. Like right. he's one of the best performers stats-wise in the whole tournament, and he mm -hmm. hasn't even got a, a second of football yet. Not even came know. off the bench. Not a second, that. But, like, I'm sure I've seen he's either got 16 goals and 20 assists or vice versa, 20 goals and 16 assists. Like, has Rashford got that many? Nope. Is, is anyone? It, it literally, is anyone? Foden, Grealish, yeah, Mount? I doubt anybody? Really. I mean, Sterling, who is undroppable for Southgate, yeah, you yeah. Know, was unplayable for Pep towards the end of the season. That's why... Still didn't want to move this summer because he wasn't getting played and he's been told yeah. he's not going to really get started next season. But yet, uh, Southgate's top school boy, you know what I mean? I know, honey. Uh, it's fucking... he's, he's got like his probably favourite Southgate, like, and he always has. Ah, he always has. Is slab heed forward for the corner. Corner? What minute? Yeah. <laughs> oh, free kick, sorry. Oh, fucking hell. I was thinking I've missed the free kick. <laughs> no, free kick. All uh, right, nine and a half minutes in. Chance to put it in the back stick. Yeah, Calvin Phillips is over it. Leaving it for... Uh... 
Luke Shaw. Yeah. Luke Shaw pinging it in. Looks for Maguire back stick. Cross goal wide. John Stones, that was on it actually. What's that, the third left back we've played this tournament now? <laughs> <laughs> it's only that. Ah, he started against Scotland. Oh, Shaw started against Scotland, eh? Aye. Uh, it was Trippier against uh, Croatia. Oh, it was Rhys James that came in, wasn't it, on the other side? Ah, uh, Rhys James at right back against Scotland, aye. I think Walker started right back against Croatia. We're just mixing it up, really. Mixing it up? No idea. May I? Two games each. Aye, yeah, pick mix. <laughs> Probably would have started chill well if he didn't have fucking covered. Aye. Well, well, did or didn't. No one knows. No. I mean, he's negative, like, but uh, nah, he can't, can't play. Yeah. Get yourself the old Birmingham holiday in, lad. Some good time, isn't it? <laughs> he yeah, absolutely good. lashes it into Rosehead from the edge of the box there. Eh? That was a bit stingy. Yeah, that's uh, not going to get your pull audits uh, much higher that way. Like. I don't think. A sterling chance again there. Maybe he could have took around the keeper and it, trying to lob him over. But uh, unlucky at the post, anyways. Yeah, good effort. A uh, bit of an angle. Keep our rushing towards him. Still at the post. Aye. Was that a sack of bomb at the defenders? Ah, I get it right. Phillips. Whip it in. Back in the box, goes short. Sack of nice bit of footwork. Oh, a bit heavy on the cross. Grealish back across. Harry Kane. Had a Grealish. That's a lovely ball in back. Oh, Sterling! Easy as that. <laughs> 1 0 England. Who else? Who else? Man, Raheem, man. Uh... Who else but the number one schoolboy, Southgate's son, Raheem Sterling. Czech Republic nil, England one. Get in, man. Less than 12 minutes on the clock. Get in. Now, that was said, Sterling's be first in the team, you like. That was, that was hell, I like Sterling, they like. That was said, and that happened for me. Look at look, Grealish, though. <laughs> assist, assist from Grealish. Bukayo Saka, I take these top off. Flexing. What the fuck? Saka, he didn't score. I don't know. What, what are you doing, mate? Have you seen it? Where he, he, lovely ball in by Jack Grealish, though, isn't it? It's class, that man. Absolutely class. Lovely. But, On a plate for Raheem Sterling. He can be five foot tall and still get that in like Raheem Sterling does there. <laughs> the effect is just over the defender. Yeah. In between the pair of them, Sterling with an open goal. Nods it home. 1-0 England. It's going home again. <laughs> did uh, someone say that we probably should have been starting Jack Grealish all this time, did they? Did they? Did they? Who's that? All right. That's All good. Right, Just put that one in your back pocket for next time, will you, Gareth? Can't wait for him to be dropped against uh, in the round yeah, of 16. I can't, I can't wait for him to not play again. Aye. Mason Mount comes in for a Grealish round of 16. Hit <laughs> Jordan Henderson. We're going <laughs> Southgate sitting there. You didn't make two of them if you are How about three? <laughs> <laughs> what are you thinking about that? You want three DMs, do you? Everyone's complaining with two. I like the A3, then, shall I? <laughs> Czech Republic was looking for an instant reply, though. Good cross from them, back post. Ooh, headed away at the last second by Walker. Offside. Big Patrick Sheik. Oh, that's cheeky, that. Cheeky. Scores an 80s on for the goal. Boot that, lad. Good track for to get through. <laughs> uh, it looks like, to be fair, like, I haven't really seen much of him play before, but that goal against Scotland, bah, that's a goal of the tournament already. That, like, you can just end this competition right now. Absolutely lovely, that was. Newcastle were linked with him last summer, weren't they? But we went for Carl Wilson instead, which was obviously an Irish move, but... Yeah, not going to win you with that one. We inquired about... Uh, Patrick Schick, England top of the group there, seven points. Czech no, Republic fourth, two apiece for Croatia and Scotland. Is it still nil nil at Hamden? I think. Yes, uh, I just checked there. Still nil nil. 
Um, but I we uh, we looked at Chick, and then he went on loan. He's had a good season. There'll be plenty of people looking at him again. I think. It was his parent club. Is it not uh, Leverkusen? Is that who he's at? I don't know. Yeah, I, he's definitely at Leverkusen, but I don't know if he was on where he was on loan last season or who his parent club is. His parent club is. Grealish foul there on the left hand side. That's what he does best. Get them free kicks in. Oh, I snapped at his ankles though. Any, any chance of it? Uh, I so he was at Roma. I didn't do too well at Roma. I went on loan at Leipzig. Did well there. Then by Leverkusen, Bolton. Uh, uh, 2020. Good position for a free kick for this from England. Bukayo Saka going to whip it in that. like that. Hmm. There's a corner. Horrible cross, but... Uh, it's a bit low, like. Bounces away for a corner kick. Luke Shaw, I take it. Shaw looks for the back post. Deep. Mega deep. Pass deep. In too deep. Oh, that's a free kick. Hey, piss oh, off. Oh, wow. Oh, that guy's just kick. wiped out on the edge of the box there. Eh? Referee time to get up, would it look like a foul? Good footwork. Yeah. Like he maybe should have tried to do something a little bit sooner, but... Tidy little footwork there. He does get clad, you know. <clears throat> Don't know how he hasn't gotten a free kick there. Shocking that, like, referee. Great position for a free kick. That's a blatant foul. Nah, it takes his like, leg away, like right on like the calf. How can you not? He's, in, he's right in front of it as well, the referee. Couldn't have a better angle. <laughs> I think Saka just went, are oh, you stupid? <laughs> on the, on the there. Oh, Terrible trying to press with Yazing, I'm trying to play out the back, fails. And gives a free kick win in a dangerous area. There's a goal in the Croatia game. They've gone 1 0 up against the Jocks. Ooh. Big ask for Scotland now. They need to win that game to qualify. Aye. I can still go through in third. Scotland can't. No, not now. Not new. Chance for Czech Republic to try and get back in this game. 80 minutes on the clock. Dangerous free kick. Crossing him from the right. Oh, the play it's short. Play it short. Awful. No. Awful decision. This new to Slender's guys, is it? <laughs> Passing it around. They've got it back the edge of the area, though. Might not be too awful. Blocked through in. Mm -hmm. And you got some beers there, yeah? <laughs> so I've finished, the, uh, I've finished the England bottle and uh, controversial, but now I'm moving up the old Czech Republic bottle. So, uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, as long as it's a Dutch beer, it's out. They're going to be 60 plus thousand there for the semis in the final. Fantastic news. Mm -hmm. That's class, that like. Absolutely class. Uh, give, as long as there's a few more in the, in, uh, the Premier League. Gives hope for the Premier League next season, doesn't it? Uh, definitely. 
for at least you know a half capacity, at least to get Aye. thirty thousand in or so for Premier League yeah. game. Aye. Tell you what, if we get the final and there's a full house there, I'm going to do just for the crack, like just nah. just, to be in the, just to be in the fan zone next to it or something. Gonna have to try nah, and get it. Real. Like Marseille 2016. Yeah, <laughs> I wish it was Marseille 2016. <laughs> I know, no shit. Take me back. I want to go back. <laughs> Oh, I try to probably give it away oh, still and give it a cane. Come on, Kane. Oh, so slow, Harry. There's young Minson when they need him. <laughs> it's going to be interesting to see Tottenham next season, like, if Kane leaves, like, no one wants to be the manager. Aye. Uh, and then if Kane leaves, you know, surely the likes of Son will be looking around thinking, I am away now. No, I know. It's all going wrong in uh, North London now, eh? Because Arsenal aren't really the team that they used to be either. No. Nah. Well, some of the people uh, that they're being linked to, like, it's just not the Arsenal of old, like what we knew, like, like the invincible team, like one of the best, one of the best teams in the world could sign anybody they wanted. But now, like, they're looking at like, like native respect, but like, like, uh, like Buendia. I, I like Buendia, but he's coming from the Championship and he's turning them down for Aston Villa. <laughs> I had to peep that. Like. Mental right. And they're looking at. Uh... You know, Ben White as well, who I looks like a, a young, promising talent, but he's only had one season and uh, 40 million, pounds, 40 million uh, pounds and it's got turned down. Uh, it's mental, that like. Crazy, that like. But it was uh, one yeah. of them when the uh, when they did the North London derby, like Arsenal fan and Spurs fan, and like they were saying, like, it's North London White or Red, they were like, nah, North London's dead. <laughs> it is dead. Like, like, when you think of the, the, especially Arsenal, even Spurs in recent years, and they're potching that, like. The four of them is unreal. Yeah, London's most definitely blue at the minute, like. <laughs> Even like West Ham finished above them in the league. Ah, that's embarrassing. Oh, yeah, not lifting that. Can we Brentford next year? You've got them on the opening night as well, also having the Friday night against Brentford. Oh, the hi. Hi, first game of the Premier League season that Brentford v Arsenal. I look forward to that. Like they got fucking Fulham first game of the season last year. Like Premier League literally just do recycle yeah. fixtures, like don't they? Right. I look forward to seeing Brentford. Like I'm happy for them to got promoted. I think they may do it, man. You know. Ah, they are. Like they'll, they'll not. I don't think they'll be quite as good as Leeds, but I think like I think they'll still struggle, but I think they'll be entertaining. I think they'll still be good. Uh, I think they could still get relegated, but I think they may just they may just steal. They'll probably have like the first season, like what like Bournemouth and Burnley did. Like they had good like opening years. Aye. Um, and if they do keep a hold of Tony, which I think they will for the first season, I, I expect Ivan yeah, Tony yeah. to have a good season. Me, like, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I think you'll move on. They get score goals. Uh, if he can prove the score goals, but. They don't really have a good year. Like if they if they do struggle or do go down, but Tony gets ten plus goals, he'll go on absolutely anyway. Once, aye. Or oh, dangerous ball in Czech Republic. Oh, Ooh, that fan. was calm. Czech Republic seen a lot of the ball he has since England's opener. Aye, that's typical. <laughs> Southgate's like, lads, remember, you know, we're playing for a draw here. So, <laughs> we'll get the second. Yeah. Do we really want to play France or Germany in the next round? Yeah. Do you all want to go home next week, do we, lads? Maybe some of <laughs> you, but I don't, right? Yeah, I'll get the sack. So, we can just get the draw. Oh, still a nice footwork, plays in the cane. Surrounded, gives it a Grealish. No, sorry, Phillips, back to Walker. Czech Republic force from out now does find the feet of Jack Grealish. Burst in the box. I think people aren't what I like to see. Shaw yeah. whips one in. Headed away. It's 
This is an interesting little development there. I haven't seen that one. Arsenal have apparently offered Leicester Joe Willock plus cash for James Madison. Ooh. That's a bit stingy. Well, uh, I hope that doesn't happen. I uh, know. I don't think Leicester will want to get rid of Madison, to be fair, as, as good yeah. as Joe Willock had a good season. like I, I think it will have to be quite a substantial faith for, plus Willock for Madison. I think it would be a brilliant signing for Arsenal, but at the same time, if I'm James Madison, yes, Arsenal are a bigger history, bigger club and structure, fan base and everything, but what, the way Leicester are going... Kane's got a better chance of getting top four. Do I really want to leave Leicester for Arsenal at the minute? Kane's in no. here in the box, squad. Oh. oh, he cuts back. And oh. it's saved you, you fucking stupid piece oh. of shit. <laughs> Sloppy man, Harry Kane buries that. That's not a Premier League top goal scorer. I fucking finished that. Like, lovely ball through. It's a solid hand, though, to be fair. You think he's going to hit it first time? He cuts back. Fair enough. And then he doesn't quite get enough bend on it, but it is a good save as well. Yeah. Kane beat the pitch in frustration. Uh, who was it who played nice. it through there? Was it Declan Rice with the through ball? I'm not sure. It was tasty. It was. It was good. Corner. Shaw takes it over everyone, falls to Phillips back post. Switch play to Grealish. Oh, ball in, but cleared. Mm. Grealish is everywhere. Look at him. He is, isn't he? Yeah. Battling. Oh, it gives away the foul. Soft, nah, the soft hat, I guess. But I uh, good work rate. Battling for it. Wants it, man. Doesn't he? Pro- he does, uh... Well up for this tournament, like. It's because people are writing him off a little bit. I think Grealish is one of them that's going to take a game by the scruff of the neck. Like, if you want to put me down, fucking watch this. All right. It's like, like kind of like like Ronaldo mentality. Is if somebody tries to like say like Ronaldo is like shit or tries to like undermine him, he'll be like, <laughs> yeah, he neither. Uh, if there's a boo in the crowd, he'll he'll do his best. To <laughs> uh, I think Jack Grealish thrives off that kind of shit. So bring it on. Man City apparently preparing a 95 million bid for Jack Grealish, according to the papers yesterday. Oh, fuck off, Man City. Just... Oh. If Man City saying Grealish and Kane, we may as well just give up. Uh, I don't know. Everyone may as well just give up. Even if Chelsea, you know, link with Haaland and that, you, 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 you give up. You know, <laughs> I don't know. What chance do the rest will have? Ooh, Czech Republic with a strike Ooh, on goal. Today, long up. range strike. Good effort. Didn't know with Jordan Pickford with that old swoosh back, mate. <laughs> it doesn't look right. Like he needs the short pack and daft cut back. Doesn't look right on the Mac on that night, John. Big <laughs> lad. You didn't try and pretend you're posh. We know where you're from. I uh, passed where you're from the day. Past the stadium, a shite the day, but he stunk. Stinks. 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 stinks when I, st- I should have watched this shit. Stinks. <laughs> <laughs> that was your radio jaunt this morning. Oh, it's class, mate. Really enjoyed it, like. Aye. 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 Everyone who doesn't know, um, BBC Radio 5 Live this morning on the Euros Breakfast Show joined them for that in Sunderland for a bizarre reason. They're doing a road show for the Euros, so they're going up and down the country. Absolutely what? no have idea why they off road. Sunderland. <laughs> well, why, off radio, is it? Uh, why they didn't pick Newcastle, eh? but they picked Sunderland. Managed to get a little dig in there while Sun and legend Kevin Ball was listening, so I bet you still happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin Ball was in the background waiting for me to finish, and there's me, Hammer and Sunderland, and he's you know, ex-footballer, ex-manager, and there's got, uh, there's got this staff, couldn't you? Nobody giving them shit, and he's waiting for me to get off. He's probably thinking, what's going on? <laughs> you like that one day, Bolly? Yeah, what do you think of that, Bolly? <laughs> uh, no, it was good crack. So much air. Uh... Oh, Czech Republic! Bouncing oh around the shit. box there in their corner. A chance to get oh it in again. God. The dude's dangerous. Grealish. Uh, it's much better. Like, I'm glad it was back because obviously we've done five live before. I've more a couple of times yeah. on the phone and stuff. But when you when you um obviously it was a makeshift little studio thing, but just being there in person mm-hmm. so much better, I think the world over the phone, over the video type thing, like yeah, definitely. It's well, got the world's like slowly getting back to normal, like let's say about like the increase in the Wembley capacity for the end of the games. It's a good sign for more capacity in the Premier League come August. Aye, definitely. <sighs> oh. 
half an hour nearly on the clock at Wembley. England still one nil up and still as it stands, top group D. Lovely stuff. And tomorrow is when we will find out who we get in the round of 16. It'll be the next Monday at 5 o'clock or next Tuesday at 5 o'clock. Likely to be either France, Germany, Portugal or Spain, Sweden or... Who's the other one in that group? Spain, Sweden and... Slovakia and Poland. Poland, probably. I know Slovakia did all right now, didn't we? So I... We'll wait and see. Uh, Spain haven't been our good like. Made that look really unimpressive for me. Like um, yeah. they've just got they're just the remaining of us England a little bit. Very yeah. very pedantic and slow in the build up, sideways passing, not what you associate with Spain, no killer no. instinct pop as well. God almighty. Wait, that they've only really took like one like really recognisable striker. They've got that one from uh Villarreal. like they've got a couple of like decent like La Liga yeah. strikers, but uh, uh Moreno. But like that, that main one's fucking Maratta. It he was does. a, it was a flop at Chelsea. Like he seems like he kind of hit a barn door. No. We've got a bunch of decent youngins like that Pedri from Barca. Like, but that's it. It's just youngins. Like De Gea kind of get a spot. Like I, I don't know. Like they just do not look like that gelling. Like I know they've gone through. I think that's similar to the likes of Italy, who was looking really, really good. Germany, who was actually looking decent. But Spain are the one like flagging behind, having like, like, like a transitional period, like. Yeah. Still trying to replace the likes of Xavi and Iniesta and players like that. Like Fabregas doesn't play for them anymore. Uh, they're just not the same. Like even like, like way back, like uh, like Puyol, I think Pique is there. I've got uh, like Fernando Torres, Ika Casillas. It's just I don't know, it's, they just struggle to replace them players. Big time. That was their golden generation that actually did something. Now, like yeah, David in- Villa. Spain were always pretty crap, and then the until like the nineties, and then they mixed it up, and then obviously they won. What was it, two thousand eight World Cup, twenty twelve Euros, and then you know they won like three tournaments in a row, didn't they? Three in a row, I, I, Euro, Euro two thousand and eight, Euro twenty twelve, and the twenty ten World Cup. Sack as a wave, yeah, for England still and three in the box. Can he find him blocked corner? Oh. Oh, my Italy bet's not looking too shabby, like, is it? Eh? Mm. Ah, no, it's not. I think, well, no goals conceded. Seven goals scored. Three wins on the bounce. Easy. Oh, who have they got? They've got an easy tie in the next round. I think they might have Austria or something. It's not Wales. Ah, it's Austria, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, we'll you know, we'll get through that, maybe, Yeah, should they? Uh, they've only really got Alaba, who plays goalkeeper, centre-back, left-back, right-back. <laughs> oh, so, no, but he's not been an absolute <laughs> heat <of> back. <laughs> I know, he's not been an absolute massive racist cunt. <laughs> oh no, but Jack like he's on a night out on the football pitch every time. It's fucking welcome to him, like. He is like. Oh, look at that corner all the way back to Pickford for England. The corner's been deep, like, haven't they? Some 41. <laughs> In way too deep. <laughs> Evening, Thomas. Evening, everyone that's tuned in. Smash the like button, subscribe. You know what to do, don't you? You know what to do. Saka, nice touch. Turns, feeds it off to Kane. Oh, look for the through ball back to Saka, blocked. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you got that. Look, and Jordy Rick really needs to check his messages before he sends them. He's autocorrect, he usually checks in, or he just kind of spell for shit, but he's just messaged there saying, Salsa and Grealish look really good tonight. Aye, uh, uh, good good Salsa by Grealish. Uh, I love, love Salsa, man, like, especially with Rios. At least you got Grealish, right? Because you know he normally calls them freakish. <laughs> he does. <laughs> salsa and freakish, I class them. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> This I'll say.
Ball in the box, volley for Czech Republic, bounces away. Ooh, I thought I was waiting for the net to ripple there, but it's way. I thought that was it. Who was that? Is that who plays West Ham, is it? Kufal. I don't know. Uh, I should check, sorry. Who is it? No, nah, fuck, I don't know. I can't say. Good header away by Shaw, puts his body on the line there as someone was waiting for a volley. Uh, Shaw's done in. That oh, was well, Suchek, guy. Suchek puts it wide. Uh, I thought that was busting the net, that one. It looked, we're just waiting for the net ripple. <laughs> Lucky. Suchek, thankfully. Fifty-seven percent possession to England. Five attempts a piece for each side. Two on target for England. One for Czech Republic. We really are shit, like aren't we? When you look at uh, the quality that's at the disposable, I know. Yeah. yeah, not utilizing it at all. I mean, we've had what that be now five shots on target or something all tournament. No, probably. So, yeah, I think it was three yeah. before today, so. When you compare the talents, like, and they disrespect the uh, Czech Republic, they've had a really good tournament, they've looked surprisingly good. But we've had five shots on target and we've let them have five back. What's the crack with that? Aye. It's like, uh, we just Patrick don't dominate, do we? They're straight up. Patrick Schick still had more attempts on target than England in the whole tournament. That's mental. He's had six on target throughout the first couple of games. Fucking hell. Grealish. Gives it off to Sterling in the box. Gives it a show. Nice dummy by Grealish. Ooh, Ooh. cross deflected. Nelly beats the keeper at his front post, but he puts it out for a corner. Oh, Nelly deflected in there. Look, Shaw's low cross. Ooh, Ooh hello there. Oh, Luke Shaw. <laughs> corner bringing. They've all been deep look shows crosses the day, like. Ah, they have, like. It's because he's left foot are there swinging out. Yeah, and uh, why, why, like, why Ooh. is he not a right foot there? Oh, nah. Grealish, that's a lovely turn. Kane looks for Sterling. Cleared. Can afford to Grealish. Just poked away by the defender. Oh. oh, that's big, sexy, that turn by Grealish on the halfway lane from Pickford's kick. Mm. We seem to be like just missing in the middle. Like this is probably a big left say this, like, isn't it? <laughs> like, who, the, who the fuck's in the middle? Like we've got two defensive midfielders. I don't even know where if, like, where Grealish is playing. I don't know if he's a number ten, centre mid, left wing. Like where the fuck he's meant to play? South Case just put him on the pitch. Best player there. He's just like, ah, oh, you do what you want. He, lad. he, re he really is, isn't he? Grealish has just got a free rule. We've got two defensive midfielders doing fuck all. It's like captain of the high school football team, and he, you just kind of there <laughs> do what you want, man. <laughs> He's just playing all over. He's Jackie. Then we were Jackie. <laughs> <laughs> Jack's the hardest fucking cunt on the school. He did play where he wanted. <laughs> How deep Kane is. Kane, you are on number nine, you know. <laughs> Do you want to go and stand up front, do you? We're going there instead of playing like, you know, number four. <laughs> and I don't think the is doing an awful job of it, but however. <laughs> Shaw's doing well the day, I think, on that left-hand side. Yeah, as I, I thought he had a good game against Scotland. Just didn't really have much joy. Mm. He was getting forward a lot, getting into some good positions. Oh, 
I like Luke Shaw. Like he's fucking mad. Had a good season. I'm, I'm happy he's like changed his career because being that like promising kid at 18, it looked like his career was absolutely fucking dead in the water. Like a lot of injuries didn't help, but certainly it seemed like his attitude and his weight was always fucking all over the shop. Mourinho um, nearly, Mourinho nearly killed him off, like, didn't he? <laughs> he did, like didn't he? Nearly fucking single handedly ruined his career. Yeah, he single handedly drove him into a fucking sea of depression and drink. I think like because he was uh, like. Nah, that fucker's not playing for me this week. <laughs> <laughs> that, fuck, that fucker's got the other 23, so he's going to like it. <laughs> All right, Josie. Cheers. <laughs> Same with John Stones and that, to be fair. Like 12 months ago, and you wouldn't even have John Stones mm-hmm. in our squad. No, nah, John Stones was awful season before last, and then uh, this one, he was brilliant. About a year ago, if I picked my team, a, a lot of these wouldn't be in. Like, I probably wouldn't even have Kyle Walker and uh, Kieran Trippier in either. I think they're like players of the past. I'd wanna, I would mm-hmm. want to go new school, obviously, with Reese James coming up and Juan Bissaka, uh, Trent Alexander Arnold, who didn't make it through injury. Like, I, I wouldn't have taken any of them, like, to be fair. No. No, I agree. I would have went new school, especially on the long side of Trippier and Walker. I think. Southgate lives in the past a little bit with them, like like we said nah, it does, previously. It? The old favourites, as if it's still 2016, 2018. Um, but at the minute, what has done Ari put when he comes up against the? Yeah, he's uh, another one that's another good year, though. To be fair, like that's like the the point I was making. Like people like reviving their career. Like Kieran Trippier has just won La Liga, beaten Real Madrid and Barcelona. Walker has mm. been unreal, won the Premier League, Champions League final, had a really really good year. So, yeah. Fair play to these lads. One last hurrah for the minute with the uh, tournament being at home. You'd have thought so, aye. Although, with it obviously being cancelled last year, Qatar is just around the corner. It is, aye. Not too far away. There's a level on the Scotland game there. Oh, no way. Uh, that means none of them's going through at this rate. Jesus. No, uh, like. Uh, Again. Uh, Ooh. Drills it, saves, but I think there was a flag, anyways. Yeah, still just walks away. Still in the build up, was it? We're going to the uh, we're going to Hamden here now, edge of the box, pings at bottom corner. Scotland, who is it? McGregor, McGregor, Connor. Hey, Connor's little brother, notorious. <laughs> Well, that's on for Scotland. It's on and on. Uh, like, that's a lot of play for in that game because the winner gets yeah the the winner gets third, and if it's a draw, fucking no one gets snapped. <laughs> Literally, like <laughs> winner takes all in that game. There's fucking high stakes. I think we're probably watching the wrong game, aren't we? <laughs> nah, nah, probably. I turn the shit off. It's like Jordy said he's watching the bigger game. Obviously, being a Scotland fan, but um. <laughs> Should have had a bit of multi-screen action going on, yeah. I know, I should have. Or a little bit one screen in it, not being England. <laughs> <laughs> should just do a couple of America highlights from last night or something, now, I mean. Uh, maybe he got beat off Messi. Any surprise there? <laughs> <laughs> it was a better in that game, eh? So, yeah, I didn't see that coming, like. <laughs> <laughs> Things stay like this. Is this an acceptable group stage? Seven points, two wins, one draw, unbeaten, no goals got conceded. I think so. I think it was just backwards the result against Croatia and Scotland. We would have expected maybe a draw against yeah. Croatia, and then a, 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 a definite win over the Scots. But it was kind of back to front, really. Honest. Yeah. Um, which again, when you, were, when you know that was going to be a KG game, though, you, we knew like they were going to come forward. Like we had to be very like calculated in that game, which don't I think, think was a little bit too much. Don't think it helped with at all Scotland winning their uh, losing their opening game either because that mm. they needed something out of that England yeah. game. Um, and again, it links to Newcastle, man. Like we, the results are back to front. Like nah, Newcastle well, pick up points against teams we shouldn't, and then lose against teams. <laughs> we, you know what I mean? And that's what England did in the opening game. But then again, this creation side, I think we are seeing them on the on the back. 
you know, yeah, there'll be a lot yeah. of the last bit of games for Croatia now, like because they're, they're clinging on to some of them yeah. heroes of the World Cup and previous years. You know, it's going to be a big. Like, uh, Croatia has always been a, a decent team, like a, a very good team, you could say, but they've never been great. Like they, they were lucky, really, to get to the uh, Champions League, uh, the World Cup final in 2018. But mm. they're kind of like that, like like Spain and like the Germany team. That's like <laughs> that's like moving past them kind of players, like. That that golden generation, even though it was never overly great to start with, it's coming to an end. Like Mandzukic has already retired, Modric is thirty six or something now. Like that 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 done really, aren't they? Like once Modric guns, they've got new one. Nah, I think when uh, for me you now this tournament, like I, I wrote off Jimmy, didn't I? In there, uh, that was probably. I you know, did as well, to be honest. Yeah, you see, that you do. You should never ever write off the Germans, but this uh, team. Yeah, this time round, I did, I, I did, but you know, you look at them now, and I still don't think they've got enough to win it. I'll stick by that. No, 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 definitely. They're looking a lot stronger, like on the Yotam Lowe's last tournament, sniffing balls. Yeah. You got Serge and Abri in there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they were brilliant the other day in Portugal. Like, uh, like some of the players, like are so like young. I don't even know who they were. Like that lad that scored the header, I never heard of him before in my life. And Sane was a sub. Like I said Sane's before the- every game. I- yeah, I said before the tournaments, like Sane, like uh, Gnabry and that, they've got a few good players, like Kimmich and that, but I just don't see them gelling. Like, Vernac still isn't a clinical goal scorer. Awful. But uh, Sane is not even playing in that fucking playing class. Uh, I'm just going to make this full screen while the half time's on. I don't care about that chin, that shit. <laughs> Get your comments in. I'll have a crack at half time. Going out for a refreshment break. Refresher meant and he wants to know. So England won a look at half time against the Czechs. Um pretty comfortable, really. Well deserved, but still, you know, still a bit more. I want a bit more from the team, really. Um I think we can give a bit more, show a bit more, maybe make some changes, bring Bellamy on, bring Sancho on. We're one a look now. We're through, we're getting that top spot that we don't even want. You know, we're getting top spot that we're doing in Montiara at the minute. So, well, I don't know. Do we want it? I mean, you want to you're winning breeds comments, so you want to go into the games and win the games and get into the next round because we're going to have to play these teams eventually. If we are wanting to be serious and say it is coming home, then we do need to win. We will come up against the France, the Germany, or Portugal, and the, whether it be round of 16 quarters or semis, it's inevitable. You'd rather play them later on and have that fun like, like we did in the World Cup a couple of years ago, but you know, we'll kind of go out there and be like, all right, lads, let's calm down second half. Let's 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 just have Czech Republic score an equaliser and we'll take second place. You know, you, you kind of play football like that. Let's go always go out there to win win a game of football and see where it gets with. But uh we'll focus on the round of 16 when it comes to it. He's saying it should be one one. One one Scotland game. Big chance for Scotland to get into the round of 16. Who would have thought we could have all of the home nations, excluding Ireland, because you yeah, didn't even make it, into the into the uh, knockout stages with Wales obviously making it there again. Wales, Wales impressing me again. Like Wales looking decent again, you know. Even with Bale a bit misfiring, Bale's missed a couple of good chances, Mr. Pelney. Wales still as a unit carrying on well from the last few years, looking a threat. Got themselves through the next round. Never know what could happen there. And then if Scotland get there, that'll be a turn up for the books. I mean, I wonder if if ever there's been a time where England, Scotland and Wales have all got the knockout stages of a major tournament. I completely forgot, you know, I was going through uh, Euro 2016, like at the time, and people don't know, like we were traveling Europe at the time. Uh, we were watching games in various countries and that. So I couldn't really remember like what like what the hell actually happened, and I completely forgot Wales got out of the way of the semi final. Oh, I after we beat them in the group stages. Ah, yeah, nah. fucking matter that. Like I remember, I, I think I now I think we we're, were in maybe uh, we I think we we're in Prague. We watched them play Northern Ireland in the round of sixteen. Mm. It was just weird that like knockout competition and fucking Wales are playing Northern Ireland. Like, who would have predicted that like 10, 15 years ago? Like, what the fuck? That year was an absolute madness, though, because obviously uh-huh. we got knocked out by Iceland, who I think were making, <laughs> their, 
made your tournament debut or for the first time in yeah, yeah, yeah. um and then you had like you said Wales Northern Ireland going for which was good crack because we, we met loads of good Northern Ireland lads in that trip didn't we that's oh, uh, was class. Like. that was the uh it was the one that played for fucking Sunderland not long ago uh, Will Grigg oh, Will Will, Grigg, the Will Griggs on fire chance we were fucking singing that all around uh, Paris uh, that was before we gave us something by me. We were cheering him for, was, for the yeah. 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 Was, I think he was at Wigan at the time. Ah, eh? uh, Wigan. Um, and then obviously Portugal who went on to win it, who didn't win a bloody game in the group stages or all the way through nearly on it. <laughs> didn't draw nearly every Port- game. Portugal won one game in in 90 minutes the whole tournament. It was the Man. very very first game. I remember they actually drew with Hungary 3-3 in the last mm-hmm. game, which put them through. Just yeah, Hungary topped that group. Portugal second. Mm-hmm. So I the, the drew were, drew with Hungary. I can't remember who the second game was, but I the, the won the first one. Then I think from round of sixteen quarterfinals and semis, they won them all on penalties. And then in the final, they won in extra time. So they literally only won one game in ninety minutes the whole tournament and won. <laughs> so I don't know what everyone's freaking out for, right? <laughs> Not the matter with that draw against Scotland, really, was it? Yeah, flying. <laughs> How can happen, man? How could happen? Uh, honestly, game. I was saying, I was saying before, like uh, I thought Wales have looked Aries. I wrote them off with that bloody Robert Page jumping in for him. They've looked okay, yeah. Uh, that, that, that have been great. Like Bale's missing fucking sitters, like that's what he's a star man. Like, uh, uh, like, like uh, Ramsey's looked like he's had a decent tournament. That, uh, yeah, that, that that striker that they've got the number nine. Or, oh, well, number thirteen. Mm-hmm. Hey, he looks a fucking handful. Like he looks decent, him. Like can't remember he's he's Pratt, Is it uh, Ward in goal? Yeah, Danny Ward. Ah, yeah. He's really good. Him, like he's been keeping out some some big saves. Yeah. Um, Joe Rodon's had a good tournament. Ben Davies. Mm-hmm. I think um, who else? They got Dan James has been Dan James. Been playing uh, well, full of, he full just of needs some end, He just needs some end product. Dan James, like ah, he does like. He'd be a kind of like decent signing for us, like on loan, because I, I he's yeah. I didn't think he's got a future at Man United. So if he went like like Leeds tried to sign him a couple of years ago, didn't he? Because he was on that uh, Take Me Home documentary thing. Like, yeah, like a, t- a team like Newcastle, a team like Leeds, get him on loan. He'd be absolutely class. Like he's never going to get much game time at Man United. Nah, I could see I could see Brucey ringing him up and trying to get yeah. someone like that on loan. And I'd especially take him especially if we get Sancho and no? all. Like if we get Sancho, his fucking game time's over. They might oh, bring yeah. back. They might bring back. Um, Lingard as well. Lingard could be like a new signing for them if he plays the way he did, like he did for West Ham. I, uh, I think, I think it'll suit both parties though. If Lingard gets that move to West Ham, like yeah, definitely, it'd be a great signing. Start, isn't it? Yeah, because he could go there and be their key man. Like he was absolutely fucking class for the money. Night could do with cashing in on him, so it would be good for both parties. But if he does go though, if Man United do want to keep him, see what he's done, and he he keeps up that form and get uh, Sancho, they could be a fucking handful next season. Like obviously they're looking at the likes of. Uh, Harry Kane as well could be bringing Harry Kane mm-hmm. in. Could get Sergio Ramos on a free. Mm-hmm. Like my United, my United are just a handful of good signings away. Whether they're going to afford all of them or not, I don't know. But I don't yeah, know. Like, like Cavani and Greenwood, and that fit them. Yeah, yeah. dangerous. Yeah, they've got a good squad. Like, I think there's a few sensible things they need to do to make some money to get all of them. Like, I would, if they're going to bring in. Foden and Kane and keep Lingard. I'd sell Martial and they need to sell uh De Gea as well. I could loads. see Martial going to Tottenham or something with me, like especially if yeah. Kane I think that would be a good fit, to be honest. Yeah, I could say that I but uh, apparently Man City are gonna up the bid for Harry Kane and like 110 and then hi Gabriel Jesus in as well. So that would be a, be a I heard one. that. I I heard uh Sterling as well. I heard a hundred million plus Jesus and uh, Sterling. Fucking hell, that's not bad. I'd, I'd take that, you know. Like, and I didn't want to get rid of him, but I think if he wants to go, like it's not, it's not good on the squad. Like it's damaging the cohesion. Like he's one of their key players. So if he wants to go, don't be fucking tight about it. Don't be a dick. And if you're going to get offered something like that, snap that up. That's a hell. Of, like I think a hundred million on its own is a good offer, but Sterling costs City fifty million. I don't know where you would. Value Gabriel here, Zusas, but that's a hell of a deal. That like probably about 30 25, yeah, something like that. But uh, that's a mad deal. That like it is a good deal. I mean, look at the, the keep son as well, son still in here, Zusas, yeah. not bad three. <laughs> I know, really not bad. Oh, Jason is surprised pleasantly at Kyle Stackers 
Uh, good half there. Hello, Jason. Hope you're well, mate. Um, I agree with you. I would have also started Sancho, but Saka has done well further up top. Made by uh, Jason. There it is. Look at that. Look at that piece of art. Thanks to Jason, that keg uh, canvas thing in the background there. Big up Jason Kent every time. And then we would have uh, agreed on that, Jason, that I would have rather started Sancho, but we got to say Saka has done well. Had the odd chance, caused problems, got him behind mm -hmm. with his pace, so... Fair play so far. Definitely want to see Sancho come on second half. Yeah, definitely. But that's the kind of thing we've been looking for. Like we said, like the creativity's been a bit dead. Even even the Croatia game, it was all right. We, we got through it. We're happy enough because we got the win on the opening day. But Scotland game, just no creativity, no real spark. We needed to change things up, which we didn't do. The substitutions pissed me off. The way that we just didn't change things up, kept two DMs on. That was annoying me. Like the game was crying out for Sancho. But we've given a chance to Saka. Like we're through here at the end of the day. Whether we'll finish anywhere between first and third, we've already qualified. So it is nice to see a little bit of rotation, see some new people get get a chance. And I think Saka's taken it by the scruff of the neck. I think he's been absolutely class. Grealish that Wall knew would, would needed to start. He's had a good game. They've been our two best players. But uh, buzzing for Saka. I'm I'm a big fan. I like him. But uh, second half, like we need minutes. And I, like five subs can be used. It's like fucking Brucey. We used to tell him this all the time. Like, does anyone want to whisper in Brucey's ear? We can't actually make a few substitutes. Like, we only made, <laughs> we only made two against Scotland. We took fucking Kane and Foden off for uh, Rashford and, and Grealish. Like, what kind of subs are them keeping two DMs on when it's fucking nil-nil against Scotland? Like, why aren't, like, why aren't we putting more attacking options on? Why? What's Saka got to do to get a minute? One single minute, uh, uh, Sancho, I mean. So that's what we want to do. Like, I know they're meant to be putting uh, Henderson on for some game time to get his fitness up. But with with game time, get fucking Sancho on. Seriously. Get Sancho on. Get Bellingham on. Get, you know, get Bellingham. Anyone get else you want to bring up fitness, even if you if you do want to bring John Henderson on, get him on. Get minutes into these players' belts that are going to come into the knockout stages. Give mm -hmm. Dominic Calvert-Lewin a chance. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'd, I'd definitely give him a chance. If Kane still... Doing um, he's done our our eating spells the night, Kane. He's had like a couple of chances, a couple of good saves with the keeper, but um, if he hasn't found the back of the net and he's looking sluggish as you'd expect him, but it would be again around the 60th minute mark. Get him off, just bring Calvin. Yeah. Not, give, the, give the boy a chance. I mean, these players who are absolutely buzzing to be at the Euros representing the country in England, they're going to play out the skin, like we've said. Look at Saka, look at Grealish tonight. You see mad effort from the likes of Calvin Lewin, I'd imagine. Just give him a chance. There's now to lose now. We're one up. We're already through. Did Aaron Ramsdale replace Dean Henderson in the squad? I did I. When the fuck did that happen? Last week. I, was, I missed that. Uh, <laughs> he got um got injured, Henderson, didn't he? So uh, I think he was injured, I think, prior to the uh, Croatia game, but I didn't know he was taking out the squad completely. Just looking at the just looking at the bench now, saying who we've got to potentially bring on. We've got, <laughs> uh, like, we've got Aaron Ramsdale and Sam Johnson as the goalkeepers, but out forward we've got uh, Jordan Henderson, Marcus Rashford, Kieran Trippier, Tyrone Mings, Connor Cody, Jaden Sancho, Dominic Calvert Lewin, Ben White, Reese James, and Jude Bellingham. Mm, Sancho and Bellingham. Yeah, definitely. Like I said, then maybe Calvert Lewin and Rashford, something like that, you know? Yeah. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Got Matai Vidra on the bench. I think it, I think he's Irish, so he's any bit of a handful for a. Uh, I like Vidra. I good player. Only. Who did he come up with? Did he play for Watford? Redden, I think. Did he, I think he signed for Redden, then went to Watford, and then Burnley, I something like that. Oh, is that nice? Is it what you poured into that? Oh, it's just dead nice. That, that is Hop House right. 13. Ooh, lovely choice. Oh, what do you think about that? Good choice, that thing, Hop House. Oh, big bottle now, big thing. Oh, and lovely stuff. Lovely. I've done that in a while, I think, since we were in Jesmond on draft. Lovely stuff, that, Hop House. Oh, I don't type with Jesmond. Don't type with when life used to be good. No. <laughs> <laughs> don't you fucking threaten me with a good time. <laughs> uh, hey. <laughs> can, you remember, can you remember bank holders? Remember what they used to be like? Nah, I can't even that. Seeing people now, you'd be good. Like. 
used so to be able to get a drink from a bar. Remember that? No. Uh, uh, stand in line for two hours on the bar. Right. I'd, I'd deal with that now, to be honest. <laughs> Instead of sitting at a table waiting two hours for one. <laughs> yeah, lo love cues, mate. Like. Right. Well, the second half should be a good shout there about the red straight. We should love a good old Ooh. kind of red straight, didn't we? Love it. Love it. I'm going to go and get some uh, bottles for the second half. Maybe I'll stock uno, it up. Uno memento. Looking at the group there, it's uh, England in first place as things stand, with Czech Republic still going through in second place with the draw at Hamden Park. Uh, was it Cro it's gone off now? I think Croatia were in third, Scotland at the bottom of the table. Oh, Jordan Henderson, just as we we're talking about changes, Jordan Henderson does get some game time coming on at half time. There, we'll see who for. Not sure who it's for yet, but as uh, Scotland need to sort themselves out because either one of Croatia or Scotland can go through, but one of them needs to win. A draw is not good enough for either one of them, they'll both be out with a draw. But both can go through with a win either way. Oh, there's Graham Jones there having a word with Kyle Walker. Jordan Henderson, who's coming on? Saka's out, Grealish is out, Walker's out, Kane's out. Must be one of the DMs. Straight swap, Declan Rice, maybe. I hope it's Declan Rice. Check the public making as well. Yeah, no, you said biggest fan. Came off late, Declan Rice. I don't know. Henderson's coming on. I just don't know who for you. Uh, I'd rather have been raced though because I think uh, Phillips is going to be again. Uh, Phillips is like doing stuff. I like influential him. a bit more. Uh, controversial decision for the second half. Oh, that's definitely not. <laughs> okay, all right, very well, for now until the continue. Let's <laughs> yeah, do this one on. Uh, that's all right. Big fan of the Swedes, mean it? It is Declan Rice. Lovely, lovely, lovely change. I didn't pick what went into the creator of the Heineken, you know. <laughs> got a bit of a dead box, actually. Like, I've got to be three Scotland ones, knee France ones, knee Germany on out. No, no, that's just the like different stuff, like. No, you, you just get a total random mixture. It'd be good if you got one of each, like, but uh, clearly not just anything. Yeah, that's left that. Ah, lovely stuff. Uh, Czech Republic making a change at half time as well. No further. Even Lawrence, I tell you what, I'm I'm not even taking the piss for that. Like Carl Moss would be ideal to bring off the bench now because the problem is is why, why not? he ain't continues playing is because there's there's no other goal scorer there really. Calvert Lewin, yes, hit the ground running, didn't finish the season too strong. He's not going to be out and out. More of a target man, Southgate uses him for. Um, Rashford's more of a winger. And then Greenwood, our next best finisher, obviously got into the pre tournament. So I think Wilson would be so ideal right now. He honestly would, not even just as a Newcastle fan saying that. I think he would. Mm -hmm. Seen someone there saying that Willock could be a good option for as well. All right. Could be, to be fair. Someone like that instead of just bringing on putting sideways defensive midfield, that's all I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's play 11 DMs. <laughs> I think Southgate would if he could. No, no. Just like Bruce, you would play fucking our centre backs if he could. <laughs> Just a team full of DMs and right backs. <laughs> Ooh. So Henderson's coming on. That's one of three that I said to bring on. We just need Sancho and uh, Carvalho to come on next. Yeah, I'd be happy with them changes. I just want to say Sancho. I'm not even fucking asked about the rest. Same, mate, to be honest. It's all about Jaden Sancho, man. Yeah. I think we hope we can have the impact that Jack Reed has had where he's yeah. dead up for it, gives 100%, gets on the ball, makes things happen. Mm -hmm. uh, like Grealish is the other one that wanted to say, obviously, started from the beginning. I, I want to say more of uh, Phil Foden, but obviously isn't available tonight. Uh, uh, Sancho is the only one on the bench that I really want to say. So, obviously, a very close game, only at 1-0. 
Czech Republic will be looking and probably get more balls in the box, try and get Schick a few more chances. Mm-hmm. And, uh, unless they are doing the wise tactic of finishing second. <laughs> like we, yeah. we should be. It's obviously a good thing that both games are being played at the same time, though, so yeah. they haven't really got one eye on it. But if uh, if either Czech Republic or, uh, sorry, if either Croatia or Scotland win, can't one of them finish second? And Czech, Czech Republic would have to go through in third? Perhaps. It would depend on goal difference. Goal difference uh... two, just two goals separating Czech Republic and Croatia, three between Scotland and in the bottom place there. So... Mm-hmm. If Croatia went, you know, three one up against Scotland and they stayed the same, then I they would drop down. I think in the third. So uh, I think f- for Czech Republic's sake, they definitely need to get a draw with this at least. Aye. Uh, why hasn't it kicked off yet? It's like seven minutes past, isn't it? We should not kick off at nine. Uh, aye. What are you doing? What? Am I behind? If yeah. If yeah, second half hasn't kicked off, then I get eight minutes behind. Uh, I thought that like because the second half actually eight minutes in. Aye, what the fuck's going on? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's why I was saying, I was like, why isn't anyone kicked off yet? Oh, uh, I thought you were watching it. I <laughs> know, yeah, oh, sorry, when well, not eight minutes, it's a uh, 48th minute, so we're only three minutes in. Sorry, Broken hell. but still, <laughs> Jesus Christ, I had to be hope. I'm watching the wrong hope. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> There we go. So, uh, Ivy, now I've got Saka on, 48-45. Oh, lovely. We're bang on and now. Sexy. Sexy stuff. I was thinking that we're still behind the moment, really. We're still a good five minutes like later, kicking off, setting off, surely. Well, I suppose it's Scottish time in that now. Yeah, I think there is a little bit of a delay on the hub and now, to be fair. Herb. Herb. Well, I'm going to turn the comments off, sorry, everyone, in case there is the delay in the herb. He's asking why I'm streaming it. It's because my TV broke before in the bedroom. So <laughs> got one in the living room, but not ready to set up in there. Just wait the wise, anyone that ever moves house. Don't just carry your TV freely. Make sure you package the thing up. Box it up nice and lovely. Kane in the box. Oh, couldn't get the touch on it from Henderson. Slip. Overhead ball. Phillips, nice tackle. Go on. Henderson, it's a lovely cross. Oh, just a oh. whipped cross. Mm-hmm. Mister. <laughs> oh, Raheem, you're still in fuck clean off, man. Yeah, you've had you've had a good half an hour now, Raheem. You scored your uh, goal. Okay. Get off, son. Where's Jaden? <laughs> I'm dead piss. They're like tripling up on Jack Grealish now. And uh, his close control is class. Like I love how he just waits till the last minute for someone to make a move. Then uh, right. uh, tiny little clever football, isn't it? Yeah, look at your fantasy team today. Fantasy team? Yeah, Premier League fantasy team is back. Oh, is it? Oh, aye. Oh, let me have a look at that right now. <laughs> oh, we're not doing this again, though, because we always make the mistake just like we were predictions we go too soon. Yeah, I know. I've just I've made like just a mock one now because obviously like loads of things is going to change, like obviously depending on like wait, if Sancho's going to go somewhere, Kane's going to move, like... There's so much that can happen between now and the start of the season, so there's, there's no point even doing it yet. There's a chance, though, now to get people at a cheaper price, maybe, because I tell yeah, you what, I, that's, that's kind of why I don't know. I was just like having a look at like, prices, see what I can get. Uh... If Kane goes to uh, City, then his price will rocket right up. He, I think he's already the most expensive player, to be fair, after his performance last season. Obviously, most goals and most assists. I think, it was, like, the, I think he got the most points last year, so he's already one of the highest-priced players. 
I'll just do it later because it looks a bit long. I'll do it in a couple of days' time. Like you say, just get some kind of pre-warmed up for it. Yeah. Any Newcastle players make your uh, make your squad? Uh, I I just put them in like as a provisional. Uh, I did have Callum Wilson in, but like I always, I just put who I want in first and then see like how how much over me price that I am. So I need like take a few people out. So I think I took Wilson out, but. Uh, I don't know. I might go back. Like to be fair, I'm probably not going to put any Newcastle players in. To be honest with you, <laughs> <laughs> Wilson's the only one I would have in. Uh, put Will again if he comes back. All nah, right. Actually, I might put Will again to be fair. But he's but he's quite nicely priced. You only hope he gets a move from Arsenal. He's probably going to play for them, is he? Mm. Well, I don't know. They said they'd, they'd want him back. Obviously, like not, as we've seen before, Arsenal aren't the Arsenal of old. A player like Willock may actually be pretty good for them. But if he does go to Newcastle, Leicester, whoever else wants him, I'm sure he'll have a good year next year. He's, he's proven himself in the Premier League now. Yeah. I think he did a good job for Arsenal, to be fair. I think they should keep him. I think they'd be really daft to let him go, to be honest. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Obviously, I want to come to Newcastle, but I definitely think Arsenal would be daft to get rid of him. Wouldn't mind that uh, trade with uh, Freddie Woodman that was suggested last week. I'm uh, a fan of that one, Mike. Uh, Cash plus Freddie Woodman deal to bring Willock in. I'd like that. I mean, I think Freddie's got a very bright future, but in terms of what Newcastle United need right now, it's not a goalkeeper. No, nah, no. Nah. And he's like 24 years old, you know. Like He's not like an 18-year-old kid anymore. He's like he's had a few good years in the championship. Like, if he's not getting in now, and he's not even getting on the bench, like, you can't even get ahead of Carl Darlow at the minute, so... Yeah. Might as well cash out. I mean, if he's going to be valued at like 15 million, then we can use him as a as a chip to bring in a. Oh, I'm just the... in, but still couldn't get there. Uh, if we can use him as like a, a pawn in the transfer deal to bring in Joe Willock, then it's absolutely worth it. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I'm disappointed that he hasn't been given a fair crack of the whip, though. Same. Same, I. Uh, like I say, like, goalkeeper isn't a high priority right now. We've got Dubravka. That'll fucking day. Worry about the rest of the team. Got Dubravka, got Darlow. Mm-hmm. When you look around, you think of players you could put in for Newcastle on the fantasy team. You really struggle, like, didn't you? <laughs> I know. That, that's, that's why I didn't. Like, obviously, Maxi on his day. I think he's decently priced. I think he's like 5.5 mil. Wilson, but, to be spit. Yeah. Uh, like Maxi's Max Max just Maxi's injury prone. Sometimes just doesn't turn up. Like he either does turn up or he doesn't. There's like nay in between. He's either yeah. the best player on the pitch or he's absolutely fucking absent. I think Miggy's decent price. I think he's like four point five. Two? Miggy. Ah. I was actually looking for a cheap defensive option just to fill in me me back line and I was gonna put Mankio in. Which depends if he plays or not though, really, doesn't it? Uh, uh, that's the thing. Maybe it could be an area one because he chips in with the odd goal from free kicks or whatever. Uh, that's a good point. I bet he's quite cheaper now. Uh, I'm hoping for a good year for Murphy, but obviously we need to sign him, didn't we? He's your contract. Uh, I'm hearing we will offer him a new deal. I think he'll sign it. Yeah, I hope he does. I think he could have a good year next year if he's if he's found his role now with the uh, right wing back. Be interesting to see what happens with our left wing back option with obviously Matt Ritchie wanting to go back to Bournemouth mm. for family reasons. Jetro. Jetro, Jetro, let's go, let's go. And obviously, um, big, hope, big hopes still lie on Jamal Lewis as well. Yeah, he, he, he needs to step up massively next year. If, if, we, lose, if we lose Ritchie, then he's got to step up massively. Oh, oh, we need to just bring in Jerry Williams for free. It's a no-brainer. You've got, we've got to bring Williams Absolutely. back. I would have said it was a no-brainer last year when he was only valued at like seven and a half million. I was like, mm-hmm. that's an absolute bargain. Now he's actually free. Like, how much more? Like, how how much more do you need? How much more is in your face? Uh, do you need any more incentive to bring in a fucking class player for free? It would be a bargain at like seven eight million. Don't be a fucking dick, Mike. Are Obviously, the worry is the injuries in it and the lack of football he's had, but yeah, for free, yeah. For free you know. I mean, 
We're uh, both yeah. on the yeah. and you deal just for a chili there, Rule. Uh, even back him up, just like uh, like mentor uh, Jamal Lewis for a bit. Yeah. Like until maybe he's like, Lewis gets himself injured, then I step him in. Just get his fitness up a bit. We can play it really, really well, I think. Like, like I say, obviously on a free transfer, that's nothing to lose. And the best thing is he actually wants to come to New York. That's all the fucking crazy psychopath. Yeah, he loves the tune. Uh, he's already worked with Steve Bruce and he actually wants to come back. <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> he's definitely got a few beers up here he wants to see. <laughs> Unfinished business. Mm. <laughs> And a couple of kids to maybe sit in. I mean, Jet Row. <laughs> Jet Row Jr. <laughs> it's a good name, actually, Jet Row Jr. I like it. Jordy Jet Rose. <laughs> oh, that's awful about Czech Republic giving it away for a no, throw in detail by the uh, predominant Newcastle crack. Not much has happened in this second half. We had that from England, not doing much. Yeah, it's not to feel like a bloody uh, qualifying game. This now, isn't it? Ah, it is. Uh, like this is honestly why I kind of fucking buy watching England at the best of times. This is why with with the Euros with the World Cup, you just have to go into a pub. You have to go. Out <laughs> yeah, you have to go and get absolutely mortal to enjoy an England game. How, how good of a time did we have against Croatia opening day the other week? Because we didn't <laughs> even have scored. I, I, mean? yeah, I, I didn't even watch the game to be honest. That's why it was really good on mid time. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> now we won one 0 and got absolutely smashed. That was class. Aye. Two changes here for Czech Republic. I've absolutely no idea who they are. It's uh, Fellaini, that not? Hi. Looks like a uh, David Fellaini. Crossroads, <laughs> Louise, and Marwan. Whatever happened to Marwan Fellaini? Where's he at now? China or something? He's still in China, aren't he? I don't know. Shanghai. Shanghai. I did a video keg on a uh, Raf at the Everton. What was your take on it? Surprised, a little bit shocked. That I don't know. Like I- I'm in between. Like I feel like for Everton, it's a really good appointment. Like l- losing Ancelotti. Obviously, Ancelotti was a major coup for them, and I thought like they're not gonna get better. Like I seen like when, when I like like uh, Pete from. Everton, like from Liverpool, Everton fan, like he was tweeting about replacements and stuff, and like saying like that always probably going to be disappointing to whoever replaces them because they're not going to get Ancelotti. It's like us when we lost Rafa, like mm-hmm. he was going to replace Rafa. Need one fucking better, and guarantee you that. Mm-hmm. So like, I felt like their best option was Nuno Espirito Santo. I think that's a really good fit, and he's a really good manager who I like. But Rafa's a different level. He's a Champions League winner. So I feel like that if you're going to replace Ancelotti, I feel like Rafa is the absolute best option that you could have got. So from an Everton from an Everton standpoint, they should be out of the moon with that appointment. I think he'll do a really good job. I think it's a really good fit. And obviously, he lives in Liverpool. He loves the city. He never left Liverpool, so that's obviously where his heart is. It's where his family is and stuff. So really, really good fit for both business and personal. But uh, it's just the Liverpool thing. That's obviously why it's it's a question. If he wasn't the ex Liverpool manager, no one would question it. Yeah. So people obviously question like his his morals and things like that. Like I don't know, I don't believe in all that. So like, I I think it's he got a job in the city where he lives. Why not? It's a good job. Everton's a good team, good budget. Obviously, like James Rodriguez, Calvert Lewin, Luca Dean, they're a class class team, and that's a really good fit for him. So I'm happy for him. I think it's a good appointment for for everyone. No, I mean, the Everton fans haven't uh, quite took it that way, other than the majority of them. I'm really surprised to be honest. I'm like, obviously, like, put like the Liverpool stuff in the past. It's a really good appointment. Why are they pissed off? Because he played, managed Liverpool fucking 15 years again. <laughs> so what? Like, we didn't I... even kick up that much of a storm when fucking Steve Bruce was appointed. Oh, he's an ex Sunderland manager. We just didn't want Steve Bruce because he's fucking shit. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> I think he's fucking Sunderland. He's just a shit manager. Ah, that talk with the taxi driver. They obviously come back from the radio station in Sunderland. The taxi driver was a Mac and I sound blow to be fair and he was we were talking about Bruce and we, we both said like Bruce played the blame game at both clubs like at Sunderland when, when he was getting sticky he was saying ah it's because I'm a Geordie isn't it and then now when he gets sticky in Newcastle he's saying nah I'm uh-huh. a number four haven't I so kind of when he's just a useless bastard like wouldn't care 
about Bruce managing suddenly we came to Newcastle, play good football and got results. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I couldn't give a fuck. At the end of the day, he is like a like a Geordie, like it's, this is where like Wanai is from. But I couldn't give a fuck that he managed Sunderland. Like it was a job at the time to be fair. Like I think business is different when you're in it. Like we can sit back as like armchair fans and be like, oh, you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't do that. When you're getting offered money, when it's actually your professional job and people are offering you like however many millions are yet to do it, we're not really in a position to judge anyone. Like if he wants to take that job, that's within your fucking morals to take that job. Like I don't really believe in that like rivalry crack in football. Like, yeah, like maybe you shouldn't sign for the rivals that your group's supporting, but when you're getting the offer, when you're getting a contract offer on the table, it's gonna be hard to turn down. Like you've got a fucking family to like pay for on that, you know what I mean? Mm. So I think Everton fans need to fucking get a little bit of a grip of that sort to be fair for like kicking off a bit rougher. Like next best option, Nuno. But what's Nuno done? Got promoted, played European football. CV's empty compared to Rafa. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Nah, it's, it's a good appointment. I think Rafa's getting himself in a good team. And it, it, in terms of the Newcastle fans kicking off, you need to get a fucking grip yourself now. Like, he was never going to fucking come back to Newcastle under Rafa and under Mike Ashley. So just put that in the back of your mind. And now that. We're hoping that the uh, change is going to get done. Oh my days! You see, Modric just got there. Big goal at Hamden Park. Look at that Modric of all people, the absolute legend of Croatia. Drake, probably, surely the uh, best player to ever come out of that country. He scores a massive goal for them to take them four points level with Czech Republic. And Scotland now needs two goals to try and get through to the round of sixteen. Class goal from the outside of his foot. Yeah, lovely finish by Luka Modric. His uh, his engine might not quite be there, but the f- the, uh, the 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 wound of a foot is still there, definitely. No, oh, I. Two changes for the track have probably been waiting a while to make them. Like, no. Gareth, by the way, still uh, four changes available. We can see, <laughs> you know, switching it up. Graham Jones must be sick of telling these managers with these subs that they can make. Like, eh. <laughs> I know. <laughs> can anybody just make a fucking sub? <laughs> <laughs> Graham Jones is sitting there with his next box controller on the same impression start. Like, lads, <laughs> make the fucking sub. Twenty-five minutes to go at Wembley for one England. Marcus Rashford uh, and Jude Mark- Bellingham. Mm, I'm happy to see Bellingham, like. Yeah, I'm happy to see Bellingham. Yeah, that's green there. Uh, there's Graham. Look, look at Gator like Graham. He's the fucking mastermind, isn't he? He is. Like, look at him. You can see anyone dishing out uh, instructions like that. <clears throat> You're some hero. The very shy Gator Graham there who uh, shit his pants. Hi, and I did, didn't Yeah. I'm <laughs> yeah, not starting to them cuts. Yeah, uh, there's a freak from YouTube. I'm not going to you. See them on the old Facebook. I'm not going to you, freaks. <laughs> Even though Graham's kids were big fans, you know, you'd see them, oh, there's a mighty cake, my channel, and Graham's like, oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, you fucking pricks. Oh, no, I'm going to get sacked if I talk to these. <laughs> <laughs> I've been warned about these. <laughs> oh, I know. Them cunts of fucking burp and swear on on the channel. <laughs> mm. Sterling wins a free kick, good area. It was coming off then. Bellingham and Rashford to come on. It's got to be Phillips and Sterling, you'd imagine, wouldn't it? I'd hope so. I think that's the only changes I would make. Obviously, get Sterling off because he's an absolute bell piece. And uh, <laughs> I'd like the only like centre mid change that you would really want to make, isn't it? Phillips. Uh, for... oh, there is Sterling. Clapping, yeah. Sterling for Rashford. At least Rashford this time was actually going to play in his position instead of down the middle. 
Yeah. The wing out of years. I'm all right with that, to be fair. Um, you know, Carver Lewin did do well on his first couple of games for England. You could see how much he, he had his heart in it, so I wouldn't mind him coming on later for Kane, maybe. Um, yeah. But we're still waiting for Sancho. Grealish comes off. What? So we've got Henderson, Phillips, and Bellin and Malan at the same time. Yeah, nice and negativo. I don't mind in a way Grealish coming off there, to be honest, so he doesn't get injured, but, um, you know, at the same time. Ball in, back post, free. That's a little oh, bit no, of a penalty, no, isn't it? No, no, no penalty. penalty for Guaya? No penalty for Slabbeed? No penalty for Slabbeed. <laughs> what? Dean just messaged Jolly Rick there saying Modric pissing out of our Grundar's grave. <laughs> uh, the old Scottish roots lying deep in Jolly Rick. Yeah, they would have been happy with the Jolly than anything, would they? Might have been, I fucking hope not. No, me as well. Now you found out we're fucking Scottish two year again. <laughs> hey, Dean, you were like, because he's not thick as fuck. And he's old. <laughs> he's been, been told previously. <laughs> I know. He also probably understood that Hamish McTaggart's the most Scottish name that you could possibly think of. <laughs> fucking Joey Rick and was, was he Scottish, was he? Hey, Rossi's called Hamish McTaggart. <laughs> no, I mean, no, no, he's Portuguese, man. Yeah. Uh, he's Belgian or something, isn't it? Yeah. Aye. Let's have a look at this penalty appealing, Maguire. Oh, big hand in the back leg. That's a yeah. Penalty. That's a penalty for me. He's got his elbow and then he pushes him in the back. Probably two hands in the back. They're given all the time in the Premier League. The referees give us fuck all the night, though, aren't he? Yeah, it's like, aye. That should have went to VAR. We had Sterling pen on Friday. I think that was a pen for me, like. Right. It was a bit soft, like, but it was stood on the foot. If that went to VR, which it would have in the Premier League, guaranteed. That's a pen. I quite like that they're not relying on VR in this competition, though. They're just letting the game flow. The referees are having the balls to actually make decisions. Nah. Like, like, Premier League referees haven't got the fucking balls. Like, they're just like, oh, I don't know now, so I'll just let VR make that decision. So, uh, it's been used a lot better, like VR on this yeah. one. Much more controlled, I like it. Apparently, they're going to make the line sticker for VR. <laughs> uh, I heard with that one. Uh, it's a good one, that. Whatever that means. <laughs> hey, I've seen some lifting calls. To be fair, did you see uh, Lukaku was offside goal last night? I was good. But that's from Golden Bootman. <laughs> uh, but, but VR got involved there. Like, I know they haven't been getting involved much, but when they have, I think they've gotten a few calls wrong. Like that was an offside for me. I think that was maybe a penalty call, like like last week. I can't remember which game it was, but ah, look, that was goal was fucking not offside there. Like, no, I'm glad he went on to get another one. Like, but uh, any shit. Yeah, I've got him on golden boot now, and uh, captain in my fantasy team. Nice. I lost that on ten points in the last game for Belgium because of fucking De Bruyne. Why? What happened there? Because he was uh, injury dose, like I didn't know he was going to play, so I had him on my bench. Ah, oh, stinker! And scored a goal and created an assist. Fucking prick! Aye, uh, that goal he scored was fucking class. Aye, uh, I fucking love him. Like he's so good. He is one of the best in the world. That's a ball over the top. Oh, I keep my comments up for Czech Republic. Well, saying this house, yeah, like it's going to be finished one nil. Where one nil this. Oh, nah, I've got one one on me. I'd rather that come in win somebody in England for the second time. I'll throw it me. How are Jack Republic? This is just typical England. We've just got no fucking desire to like kill games off. Just too lacklustre, conservative, scared, really. I told you in the, our preview, man. I told you in our preview, like we're not going to win the Euros because of South Southgate and his pragmatic approach. And it's yeah. just coming to fruition yeah we're taking early lead we do absolutely nothing to try and build on it yeah there's no way when, when we finish top the night and we play France Germany or Portugal 
that we get through the next round. I really can't see it. Absolutely not. Right, well, struggling, yeah. Like, what well, winning fairly comfortably. Same against uh, Croatia. Couldn't beat Scotland. But Croatia and Czech Republic and Scotland aren't France, Belgium and Germany. No. If we get any of them, we are fucked. Doomed. Yeah. Right, on paper, I think we can challenge any one of those sides. Yeah, um, yeah, definitely. I really do. And I think they haven't massively impressed me. Uh, France, again, I don't, I don't think they've been great, but I think they'll grow into the tournament. Um, but it's just, just England in the negative approach will let her down. And it will mm-hmm. just let that, that team of a pound will get beat 2 now, isn't it? No, I am not looking forward to getting any of them. Like, definitely would rather. Mate, obviously you want to top the group. Like, obviously you want to do the best you can. But if we want to progress a little bit, we need to fucking finish second and get fucking Poland or Switzerland or something. Aye. <laughs> so on Stonesy, there'll be knee watch along next Monday and Tuesday because me and Keg will hopefully be out for the round of sixteen game. Yeah. Thanks for those free tickets. Hopefully, if uh, we can get that sorted, I think if the both of the games are at five o'clock on Monday or Tuesday, like I'm meant to be at work at six, so I'm gonna have to squeeze in a couple <laughs> of hours. Yeah, like. Uh, I have to sort something good. Because I'm not watching this in the hoose, boring game. I'm going to get in pissed and forget it ever happened. That's what I'm doing. It's like, yeah, man, it's going to be our last game. Aye. No, we're getting out on high. Yeah. <laughs> Corner for England. Bellingham tried to break into the box. Defender got his foot in there after Harry Maguire was allowed to carry the ball pretty much to the edge of the box. <laughs> <laughs> Don't. Same four minutes in another short corner, another poor one. Get him off corners. That hasn't worked at all. Yeah, it's been shut like. A touch break. I'm not sure who that was. Actually, was it Stones? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Stones all the way forward there. Corner at Czech Republic. Chicks had a quiet game. Really quiet, Annie. We haven't um haven't given him much like, but he's he's off now. No, it's him. It's him out of there. Speak of the devil. He halfway goes and eat fees, son. Czech Republic, they're going to get a point. They'll be looking at set pieces like this to cause us problems since they haven't seen too much of the ball in the final third. Nah, uh, definitely. They are good from set pieces. Like, uh, obviously, we now have Albert Suchek. And that Picard, how we pronounce it, just came on for Shik. He looks like a big lad again. Uh, Spice took Shik off, like, to be fair. I know. Mm. Ooh, so for a throw in. Uh, saving him for the round of 16, probably, I guess. Mm-hmm. That's a horrible cross by Czech Report and gives England a chance to take a breather. Goal kick for Pickford, less than 15 minutes left at Wembley Southgate. So there's two changes, I think, to make. I should be too, yeah. Game hour at Hamden Park. 3 1 to Croatia. Oh, bye bye, Scotland. Scotland, bye bye. Ivan <laughs> <laughs> uh, Perisic with the third. Oh, Perisic. 
Well, football could still be coming home. Scotland are going home. <laughs> See you, jocks. They're already home with them again, anyway. Aye, they're there. They're ready. Yeah, you just stay up there, will you? You stay right there, will you? I'm going anywhere, COVID now that, but you're already there. <laughs> Billy's already got it, just a minute to spread it anywhere. <laughs> hey, fucking hell. We must have been awful people in past lives. What mean you? Aye. Right? Oh, to be cursed with this. Uh, we gonna say I'm going to be either. fucking Newcastle and England fans. So what's the guts going on? I was going to say that on the radio this morning you know, and I didn't get a chance. So I was going to say <laughs> that. I was, was going to bring up the whole, the whole brewski, you know, the whole Scooby Doo. Mm-hmm. Um, but we really must have been, you know, these, uh, imagine whinging at being like a Man United fan, Man City fan, whinging at England or shit. At least you get the fucking celebrate weekend with you. <laughs> Normally, this is our bloody break. We look forward to a summer. <laughs> To try and you know have a how excited were we for this tournament because we thought right we don't mm. have Bruce Ball every we've got four of the attacking players yeah may see some goals need chance well it's an assist from Modric flick on header at the near post from Perisic nah nice goal that like big fan of that Croatia kid I've always been a big fan of the Croatia kids like oh I. oh well I'll tell you what we'll do he has Southgate summed up in a substitution oh, don't yeah, man. Up. Tay Roaming's on. One nil. Oh. Play for the one nil, Southgate. Play for the one nil. Fucking fraud, man. Oh, I tell you, I was going to fucking finish one nil. Right. Should have had the old ten quids. He's on that. I, think. I had ten quid on one one. As it stands, it's probably not going to happen. Jay and Sancho should have just begun now and tapping on uh, Southgate's shoulder. It's like, D- Dina, I'm here. Aye. Are you aware you will actually put me in your team? I mean, it'll just, just kind of like Gareth and just be, yeah, mate, I'm, I'm, I mean, just going to Dubai or something, you won't notice, will you, mate? <laughs> I know, I'm, I'm going back to Dortmund, like, fuck this. I mean, if I just guy, do you mean if I just get a nice, like, nice, like, back to Germany, going to Barbados for a week or something, it's not going to be a different <laughs> thing, it's a waste of my time here, you know, it could be, it could be me bird in Barbados. You know I mean, yeah, yeah, I mean well, that's where I plan a fucking good holiday, but I can't sit for this shift. <laughs> I'm not, how he's not coming on, man. What on earth? Full, he's on the verge of completing a full group stage without getting a single minute. Mental that for someone that got 20 well, 20 assists and 16 goals in the Bundesliga. Crazy, one of the best attackers in Europe, and he cannot get like 100 million value, whatever Man United is trying to sign him for, and 80, 80, 80, 90 million. Mental. Like, I think Saka had a good first half, obviously. Got involved, um, but uh, he's been quite second half ahead of him, and he's been quite second half like everybody. Eh? Why mm. not spruce things up? You know what I mean. Still got, uh, we've still got Kane on the pitch, who's yeah, not been involved much. We've still got no. Saka there, Sancho, and there he's he is. Hey, make it five minutes. <laughs> All right, ten minutes left. Getting the Matty Longstaff treatment. <laughs> oh, God. Well, at least we're through the next round, but it's just underwhelming, isn't it, really? Really underwhelming, I. Is it like it hasn't been bad in terms of results? Like, we've been getting them. We well, still haven't considered a goal yet. So it's been a on paper decent group stage, but. Really, really underwhelming performances, disappointing changes, substitutes, personnel. It's been awful. Yeah. Second half, waste of fucking time. Fucking boring. And uh, it's like the tune. Might as well just fucking turn off at half time and just do a fucking 45 minute watch along. <laughs> First half watch along. That's, that's the future for next season. Like, welcome it to the 45 minute watch along. And that is the future. 45 minute watch along. We'll do a match review afterwards. Uh, four and a half minute match, re- match review. <laughs> Ooh. He Sancho's coming on, baby. Oh, yes. He must have been listening. Carlos had the YouTube on. Mm-hmm. Graham. Graham's had the YouTube on. Would have been Graham on. Just tune out. I'll just see what the map by channel is talking about. I'll oh, see you get Sancho on. So we'll get Sancho on. Graham. 
Graham's kids have been sending uh, sending him a WhatsApp saying he had died the kicking off again. Yeah, you might even put him on. Eh? Hello, the Joneses. Yeah, big up the Joneses. Keeping up the Joneses. <laughs> Who's it gonna be? Thing is, now we've all said so far in the tournament how like off the pace Harry Kane looks. Tell you what we'll do: give him another ninety minutes. That'll help. Yeah, I know. He's had a long, long, long season. The odd injury. Yeah, it's <laughs> pressure's off. Don't need to win the game. Have the full ninety, Harry. My thing is, he has, he has, my thing is, he hasn't even had a ninety minutes yet. He's been taken off in the last two games. <laughs> uh, this one where everyone else is getting a bit of rest to put some new legs on now I'll just play 90 minutes in this one if you want <laughs> <laughs> can't be awesome <laughs> <laughs> oh check the probably pull one wide Off a chance after Czech Republic, really like a bit of space. Uh, now. Just wait. Kyle Saka. Saka coming off. off Sancho. Lovely stuff. Jane Sancho is going to get a good six minutes here. Uh, yeah, what? Six what, minutes. More could, what, what more could he ask for, really? Uh, what's everyone whinging the boot, man? Clean sheets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> six minute Ronu's piece of piss this lock. Unbeaten. Yeah. Hey, he's English fans. I mean, can't please him. <laughs> Stan Young, that's going off for uh, Czech Republic. Holds. Go on, Sancho. Get a touch of the bar before full time. Touch Good. it. Touch it. Oh, he's touching. He's taking the throne. <laughs> That's your involvement in the group stage. Took it through. <laughs> you enjoy that through in Sancho. <laughs> no, you didn't take us, Skywalker. Oh, Sean. Where is he? Where is he? That's mm. mm. not touchable. <laughs> I'm on. I'm on. Remember, player cam on Sky Sports. I'm doing that, you? <laughs> I used to love player cam. I mean, no. I was talking about a uh, fan zone the other day. Now, oh, fan zone was tremendous. They need to fan bring, especially how big fan zone are now. And uh, why hasn't fan zone been brought back? How big fan channels? Obviously, we've been on Sky. And so yeah, 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 no. You get people from fan TVs on Sky now. Bring back fans on, man. Yeah, no. Like, can you imagine, like, like expressions of Robbie or something on Sky? The fucking views would be class. Yeah, I, they, they haven't thought that through, like, because you got to look at obviously Robbie's watch songs at the minute, and as always, always doing right. best. The, the fan fans are going to take over fucking Sky Sports to fall on. Yeah. Oh, yeah right, he's, touched touched it. It. he's touched it. Oh, he leaves it off to Rashford. Gets in the oh, box. Keep it in. Well done. Keeps what? it in. Uh, oh. Oh, it's through, through. Who's that? Jordan Henderson offside. No, he's onside. Is that a goal? 2-0 England. 2-0 England and it's Markham Henderson. Oh, now he's offside. Now he's offside. Oh, liberty. Now he's offside. That took a while, didn't it? I thought it was offside at first, like I said, and then, you know, they started celebrating. Nothing happened. Fuck's sake. Southgate's like, ah, bugger. That looks a lot better on paper, doesn't it, 2-0? No? <laughs> Sausage pants. He's uh, definitely offside, like. Something else. Unless it takes a touch off the check defender. Close a look, yeah. Oh, it does look like it's the check defender that lays it back in it. Mm, maybe it's got a little var on that one. Meg nuts is the defender as well, fools the keeper. Oh, I don't even know. I thought it. Uh, I think it comes off the defender's foot and onto whoever that was, Bellingham. Bellingham, Bellingham. Yeah, uh, offside. One little. Three minutes to go. Shame. Could have actually celebrated a 2-0 though. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to give you that. Yeah. <laughs> you think you deserve to win this 2-0, do you? 
I would give it to be fair. I'm, I'm yeah, quite good. Didn't deserve it. I'm after the one one me. Uh, two goals scored in the group stage, both by what fucking worst player. And let's be honest, this group stage has been an absolute piece of piss. Like it has. Uh, we've made fucking hard work of it. Yeah, we've. We didn't. What did we get? A couple of shots on target against Scotland. Obviously, mm-hmm. didn't score tonight. We haven't tested the keeper that much. First, first off was Ari really, but second half has been so dead. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pleased we didn't do these fucking England watch longs very often. Ah, nah. First and last. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're not going. Yeah, we're not going to do the round of sixteen. Then we'll probably be out of that stage anyway. So, uh, yeah. last one. Last one. <laughs> it's been good, right? Last of chess, everyone. Yeah, just tune in, everyone. <laughs> Subscribe to my Channel TV. Here you go, Euros. <laughs> See you for the um, France versus whoever final, Belgium. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you there. <laughs> Actually, fuck, I don't want to go for that now, especially with Sunny. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> And the referee's just whipped away two fouls there. Referee, he doesn't like giving free kicks, is he? Especially no. Oh, yeah, uh, Czech Republic, get big rent here. A nice little winner here. Yeah. <laughs> and England, a winner. And we'll finish second, you know? Ah, yeah, no. Might as well fucking let them concede now. Honestly, you really may as well. Otherwise, you know, we'll we'll be seeing the Scotland team very soon again. I don't know what we need to happen tomorrow night to avoid, like, because we get the group, the group top, don't we? So, uh, I think we'll still get second. To be fair. Uh, we'll, we'll still get second in the group. So France have got four points. Germany and Portugal have both got three. So it's it's anyone's really. Ah, it's too hot to call at the minute, you know. Yeah, I, I don't like I say like we get we get second anyway, so you can't really call it. No. Oh man. Could still get hungry though. Come on, hungry. Hungry? I I would be scared of hungry. Hungry if actually married to me, like. Oh, I tell you, but I'm missing the best player now. Showing a lot more fight and creativity than England have, and that yeah. tells you all you need to know. Yeah, hundred percent. Absolutely mental that I'm saying that, but honestly, I, mm. I'm, I mean, like, like hungry have actually looked. It's how the match you obviously having a full capacity. Uh, could you imagine us getting a one-one draw front. Nope. They kept. They kept the. Portugal out for like eighty four minutes. Yeah, very went, long, yeah. Couple of quick yeah. yeah, they went they went one nil up just before they conceded as well, like marginally offside. So uh, like they've, they've fucking done already hungry you know. Ah please, you know how much we fucking love hungry Budapest, baby. Oh I I just wish fucking Subazoy was playing for them. Is that one of their best players in Jelly, is it? Yeah, I play for Leipzig, guys. Yeah. Like twenty year old, he's the big superstar. Uh, I, I don't even think he's played for Leipzig. Like he, he transferred from a uh, uh, Red Bull Salzburg in January. Well, I think he's been injured since January. Mm. So I look out for him next year playing for Leipzig. I think Tottenham and Arsenal were after him in January now, but he chose uh, Leipzig. Good choice. Oh, wait, Czech Republic. <laughs> Two minutes left on the clock, but it's space, yeah. Oh, oh, David Louise. Divvy. Aye, David Louise, you twat. Well over the ball. Well then, 2 one nil for England in the group stage by the looks of it. And two sterling goals. <laughs> With all players. He's literally probably been my fucking worst player. Oh, least, just... least exciting player.
Minute left. If there's one positive we can take out of it is fucking Scotland's been pumped. Aye, it is. Aye, uh, Scotland are going home. Because <laughs> at one point, one one going in the second half. Aye. <sighs> 30 seconds left track to probably play it long oh there were a corner as well I think it was offside bollocks go on Tyrone Right, I, I can open me bottle of bottle of Scotland now since it's uh, <laughs> out. And there it is, the full time whistle oh, blows at Wembley, Czech Republic nil, England one. Through to the round of 16, which we already knew before kickoff. Who we play is yet to be seen. Obviously, tomorrow evening we've got the fixtures this side who we'll come up against, but it's uh, it's not looking pretty as we play the winners of Group Death, Group F. <laughs> um, so we'll see how we get on there. It's probably going to be France or Germany. Mm -hmm. Um, by the looks of it, that group could still be well, wide open, so keep an eye on that tomorrow night, but. Again, you know, it might look good on paper. It's the group is finished. Two one nil wins and a nil nil. No goals conceded, unbeaten, but it's still boring. It's still underwhelming. It's yeah. still Southgate's England. Yeah, uh, it's just it's not surprising. It's just like I say, Southgate's England. It's just same fucking story every single game. Like not the best opponents. Like not mean to disrespect anybody, but. It's been this way all the time. Any friendly we'll have, any preseason, like like any like qualifier, we're gonna, gonna play like fucking Moldova and Andorra and that, and come away with like one nil wins. It's like, how we in, man? Like, like on paper, we should be absolutely battering these teams, right? Yeah, we just show them way too much respect. Like the the talent on our team, like our, our squad, it's a million times better than what their teams are, but. We just don't show us. We've got absolutely nothing to prove that we are better than these teams. Nah, and like we're just, just, we... just just scraping through, just one nil. So we're we're nothing. scraping through here against some of the worst sides in the tournament. What's it going to happen when we do come against France and Germany next week? You know, mm. scary stuff. Really scary stuff. I, honestly, I wouldn't like your um. A comment there saying bring on Germany. Yeah, bring on Germany. Germany knock out football in the tournament. Class. Yeah. Now what you look forward to. Yeah. But the thing is, Germany are ruthless. Germany are yeah, 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 yeah. England are fucking born. Out of anyone in that group, I probably would prefer Germany because I really do fancy France. And I know Germany absolutely battered Portugal the other day, but I really like Portugal. I think they've got some really good players, whereas Germany like I said before, like that up and coming, they've got some young players. They're they're a team just gelling. I think they're only at a fraction of what they could be in a, a good few years' time. But just England versus Germany, like they probably are the the less the least technical side out of them three. So it would be a, a good draw for us, but for like the rivalry, like the excitement of that game, I'd love to play Germany. If it's going to be anyone in that group, it's got to be Germany for me. Aye, uh, because the, the I think that could bring some excitement. Maybe finally the tournament for England, and can we see a next level, the next gear from Southgate and the lads? If we did get Germany, but if we come up against France, like, sorry, their their quality is going to outshine us a million times. Yeah, uh, yeah, they really will. Uh, Paul Pogba is the fucking best centre mid in the world on the national duty, and he puts on my night shirt and turns into fucking Heskey. <laughs> Shelby. <laughs> <laughs> but. Uh, uh, 
tonight again, you know, we'll take the lead early as well. We'll take the lead after 12 minutes. You think, right, Kushti, you know, pressure's off. Let's attack a bit more. Second half, we may as well yeah. do the Lewis Richardson through the towel. Good game off. <laughs> yeah, again, like the changes now, like it just doesn't make sense. I don't even know what we're playing for. Like, I know, like, we'll just, I think it was just trying to tactically just see it through to the end of the, to the round of 16, trying to get anybody injured or suspended, give the likes of Jordan Henderson, Harry Maguire minutes under that belt. He was just come back from injury. But Jin Sancho, what's he got to do to get game time? No, no. What, what's what's, what's, five what's got to the end? I know what's going on with Harry Kane. Like, even though Sancho's the uh, Sterling's the only one who's got goals in the group stage, uh, that, that's a that's a telltale sign for me. Like, he's the only one who's got a goal for us yet. He's probably been our worst player. He's fucking shit. <laughs> oh, it's uh, it's worrying an attack because you know we're keeping these clean sheets, but nobody's really tested. With when is Pickford really had to make a huge save, or when is? Nah. Made a couple against Scotland, yeah, no. but I not not really worrying. No, me, you know, if not you, the day you know, anyway. Once, once you stop coming up against bloody, you know, Charlie Dykes compared to <laughs> Killian and Batby and that, you know, we're coming up against uh, Czech Republic players you don't even know the names of, uh, and then you put up against Serge and Abu for Germany, you're going to be absolutely screwed. Uh, the likes of fucking Griezmann, Giroud. Benzema, Mbappe, Ronaldo, fucking Bruno Fernandes, Bernardo Silva, fucking Diego Jota, Hal Felix. We're gonna want to hope. Well, what we wanted to hope for was a uh, check for the equaliser the night and to get second place. Know. You know, because we would have wanted Spain or Poland. You know, that's that's what we that's what we would have wanted. But uh, tonight we've we've finished top. And we're in for a tough ride. We'll find out tomorrow who we get yeah. in the round of 16 next Monday or Tuesday. Mm -hmm. uh, on, on paper, though, it's obviously, it looks good. We topped the group as we're thoroughly expected. Uh, a lot of people thought we might not even get out of the group. But on paper, looking at them teams, we had to have topped that group, which we have. Mm -hmm. We haven't lost a game. We haven't even conceded a goal. So it, it's it's all right. Two wins and a draw. No goals conceded. It, it looks cushy, but... It's really not right? like yeah. on, on the on the wider on the wider scheme of things. Like, poor. It's really really poor and, and frightening when we get some of the big boys. If we try and be positive and we look at like we discussed earlier on the stream, Portugal, the winners of the last European Championships in 2016, they were scraping by games with draws and stuff. Then you can look at it that way. But Portugal were scoring goals. Then Portugal were showing passion. Then I don't think I'm seeing that from England. Not enough of it. Like. Nah, nah, nowhere near enough of it. Really frustrating. Well then, that'll do for the live watch along of England versus Czech Republic. Probably our first and last one of Euro 2020. <laughs> Being honest, uh, I think me and Keg will meet up for a few beers for the round of 16 next week. Yeah. Uh, but big up everyone that's tuned in. Thank you very much. Smash the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And enjoy. Enjoy yourself. Yeah.